वेरी सीवियर प्रॉब्लम जान मूझ के गवर्नमेंट हॉस्पिटल आर नॉट इम्प्रूव सो दैट प्राइवेट कैन बी इम्प्रूव वरना फंडिंग आएगी कहाँ से सारा प्रॉब्लम देखिए पता क्या सारा प्रॉब्लम फंडिंग का है दिस प्राइवेट कैपिटलिस्ट एंटरप्रीनशिप वेस्ट फंडिंग इज द प्राइम रीजन द गवर्नमेंट का कंट्रोल अराउंड द वर्ल्ड किसी भी देश में ले जाओ इवन टू द कॉम्युनिस्ट चाइना कॉम्युनिस्ट चाइना में भी द गवर्नमेंट डज नॉट रन फॉर द पीपल इट रन फॉर फ्यू पीपल as such it is not important but the context of education in india is the favorite topic of upsc there are few topic which upsc always always ask questions on health nutrition women sanitation education these are always you can say ubiquitous question you will get or you will encounter one or two question one or two question in mains or interview some way or another you will get something out of it so maharashtra school education department has published a gaz a notification has published a gazette notification omitting private unaided school from the obligatory 25% admission quota for underprivileged and weaker section subjected to certain restriction ab ye cheez hai kya what is this 25% quota what is the aided unaided generally in india mein you have three kind of schools first government schools second private aided aided means which are getting support from the government in some way some some parameter or another and third is unaided these are completely autonomous institute working as per the rules and guidelines of a private ownership government does not contribute any part in their functioning so we have a law by the name of rte act colloquially it is known as rte act or proper name is right to free and compulsory elementary education basically right to education that is your fundamental right also under article 21a Article twenty one is fundamental rights. Any right which is fundamental to your existence, any right which is fundamental to your existence becomes fundamental right. So, what is rights? Rights are your claims against state and society. Say, for example, your right to life. It is your claim against state. If we have no, if we do not have this right, then the state can take away your life any time they want. The police can take away your life any time they want. So, we have given you some rights. We mean means whom? we the people we all people came together discussed debate and finalized a contract and that contract you call constitution in that contract we said the state has all the powers so we should also have something we will have limitations on those powers so under the contract called constitution of india the state has all the powers so what we have we have limitations on the powers we have given to the state under the contract called constitution that is called rights and the rights which are necessary for your existence is fundamental rights so one of the fundamental rights is article 21a right to education and uh, using the powers of article 21a the parliament of india passed a law known as right to free and compulsory elementary education simply right to education uh, what this this law has Few point you have to remember for prelims as well as main. First thing, the children aged between six to fourteen are entitled to receive free and mandatory education. So it covers only children from six to fourteen. It does not cover higher. It does not cover secondary above eighth class or senior secondary, and it does not cover pre-primary. It only covers six to fourteen. Preschool it is not covered. The pre-primary is not covered. in a local school in an age appropriate class now what is this age appropriate drama let's suppose you are a 13 year old kid so in which class you should be admitted properly 7th but because you have no schooling whatsoever so you will be admitted into a maybe first class second class but that does not do justice with your potential so government says age appropriate if you are 17 then you should be admitted to 7th a question here a kid who has had no education how can you admit that kid directly to 7th but nonetheless isme the responsibility is on the school the school will admit you in 7th or maybe they may repeat you one year more mala this 5th me le lenge 5th me they will take you but they will not take you in the first class 5th me they will take you and then school has the responsibility to make you capable of 5th that is the responsibility of the school that's the important thing you have the rights schools have the responsibility to make sure you have the quality of age appropriate 
class. For this, it, it provides a lot of things. Remedial classes, extra classes, comprehensive evaluation, the numerous parameters within RTI. So please remember it covers only 6 to 14 for free mandatory education in local school in age appropriate class. Up this definition of local school basically means government schools. Wherever government schools are not present, it is obligate free on the state to put you in private schools also. And that that is second point. Aided schools are obligated to provide education for free commensurate with their funding, but not falling below 25. Matlab, government mein compulsory education is there. If there is a government school in your locality and if you go there, the school cannot deny your admission for any reason whatsoever. Particularly earlier, what used to happen uh, primarily with respect to migrant parents. You're a migrant laborer, you're migrating from one place to another. You also take your kids with you. And then it becomes a problem. How to admit them? For example, you're in your village. So you know the Sarpanch, everyone knows you in the village. They can verify that you live here. Now you are in Delhi, who can verify for you? Nobody. And you don't have documents also. India, my document making is not very good. So you are a laborer class, you don't have documents. So what happens is it deprives your kid of education. Government does not want that. And in that government simply says in this bill, this act, no student from 6 to 14 can be denied admission in any government school in locality for requirement of anything. X, Y, Z thing. Say, for example, you are a Bangladeshi migrant. You are from Bangladesh, you are not Indian citizen. But yet then the school cannot deny you admission. Why we have done this? By giving somebody a bit education, we will not lose anything. As of the by giving some education to Bangladeshi, but in the process of excluding them, we may exclude a lot of Indians also. By giving some extra education does not hurt anyone. First thing. Second thing, if we will give them education, of course, we will give them education according to our value setup. They will become Indian nonetheless, at least in value setup. We will teach them our history. We will teach them our society, not Bangladesh's history, Bangladesh's societies. So that's why we have made it very clear. No student can be denied admission in any government school for any denial of documents, any other thing, X, Y, Z thing. It, uh, wo to, right to life is available to everyone. So anyway, 21 is for everyone. Please remember, right to education is for everyone, irrespective of anything. Okay. First and second thing, if there is no government school in your locality, then a private aided. Aided means supported by the government. There are a lot of private school who get very subsidized land from the government. So those school are under compulsion to provide at least 25% reservation. If state governments want, they can also allow unaided schools to provide education. That's a Delhi me. Delhi mein every government school, every private school, irrespective of aided or unaided, under KGWAL's government, it is compulsory. Every government school, whether getting aids from the government or not, shall provide compulsory education to everyone. And 25% of seats must be reserved for the Dalites poor. Every school, doesn't matter the school we are talking about. Maybe the most premium school in India, 25% seats must be given to whom? The deprived class. The limit the criteria is 1 lakh. If your parents have an annual income of less than 1 lakh, you are covered into Delhi's EWS scheme. Every state has their own criteria. But generally it ranges from 1 lakh to 2 lakh only. 2 lakh is kahi nahi milti. Why this has been done? Ab let's imagine you are unaided school. And that's why this news is here. Maharashtra may the private schools were resisting this and every school resists this. Yeah, you have opened a school for profit, not for education. And you know, education is the best business in the world. You take the money and the result is not your responsibility. Back business mein kya hota? If you take the money, you must deliver the service. Schooling or education is a business where you take the money from the kid and the responsibility of passing is on the kid itself. So the best business without service. So a lot of schools have been opened. Private schools are particularly increasing. Up these schools were demanding that why we have to provide free education. That I am an unaided school means I get no services from the state. But understand this whenever there is an unaided school, the government bears the entire expenditure. 
of those 25 percent seats government pays the entire money but the problem here is government pays nominal money they are government rates that fees is this school uniform ka transportation government rates hote hain private school charges whatever they like from the parents if they if they charge a private person they will charge 1000 rupees for example for transportation but government rates will be 150 rupees you cannot charge more than what the government says the so government gives money for 25 percent seats but according to government rates and something the private school very much hate so of course they are fighting against this they are fighting to have to at least unaided schools are saying we do not receive any aid from the state why should we give education understand it's your responsibility few profession are above business above profit education health comes in them they are they should not be profit making enterprises they should be welfare oriented enterprises it's your responsibility your member of the society so it's your responsibility thoda sa profit kam ho jayega to maroge nahi if you want profit then leave schools start something else koi business kar lo baat samajh mein aaya to please remember that this is a philosophy the philosophy is that education is nobody's business education is not a profit institution it is not a service you are providing it is a welfare service it is for everyone and you cannot claim in this school that's always the problem in every school every college every university every job that if you are connected to the bosses you will have preferential access wo to alag hai abhi hum karenge we have, i have included some studies about india's private education how it is functioning how it is increasing and why government schools are weakening every day we will do that anyway please remember these are very good provisions that 6 to 14 compulsory education 25% this is the dispute that is going on i hope sabko clear hai in government school completely free education up till kahan gaya 14 till class 8th no school in india whatsoever can charge student any fee government above that they can charge nominal fees and below that they can also charge but the school do not cater below 6 for that you have anganwadis anganwadis cater from the birth to 6 6 year of age from 6 comes a school till 14 above 14 you are on your own state does not care about you uh, as of now but it will care in future ye hoga hi hoga but nonetheless and unaided schools mein it's compulsory for uh, sorry aided schools mein it's compulsory 25% of the seats must be reserved for ews unaided schools mein it depends upon the state governments they can they may or they may not clear all the three kind of school government compulsory aided compulsory unaided temporary or at will <clears throat> next elementary education remains cost free as i told you until the completion of class 8th or 14 years of age no child can face retention expulsion and obligation to pass any exam something we call no detention policy till here there is no detention policy so what do you think good idea no detention policy is a good idea yeah why ji kya lagta hai aapko yes that could happen dekhi but what is the logic here the logic is a kid must be worried about playing not studying psychological development does not happen hamare desh mein hi ye problem hai bas If you go to Nordic countries, they have better learning outcomes, and they do not impose syllabus. They allow the kid to do whatever they want. They have play schools. In the poorer school, play is there. Where you do, you are not under compulsion. That math, learn, science, learn, reasoning, learn. Here, so we, first day, the child is so big, we take books, take it, take it, take it, take it. That's bad. You burden a kid too much. So we have done this. There is a psychological proof of this that a kid must grow. the mental growth happens more with playing than studying studying aap baad mein bhi kar loge maroge nahi having said that if you have inclination you can study for that government provides hota nahi hai government made compulsion here that if a student is weak you should provide additional remedial classes a problem ye government mein classes to hoti nahi hai remedial kahan se hogi so it is the weakness of the state for which we cannot punish the students or always remember there are only bad teachers there are no bad students the you are unable to communicate your view point to a student student ki galti nahi hai he is not he or she is not understanding it's the weakness of the teaching method 
the environment, the classes, the teacher, the principal, the staff who are unable to create the environment of study. A lot parameters are If you remember, health is one of the parameters. If you have good nutrition, you will get ill less. You will get ill less, you will go to school more. Plus social constraint. Women often face discrimination while going to school then. Men, the manchale in the streets. So there are a lot of things that hinders this. Policy has sound justification. That mental upbringing of kids happens more with playing than studying. Having said that, if you want to study, you can. If you're weak, the government is under obligation to provide you at remedial classes, extra classes, obligated. That's a different thing. That's a governance problem. But it has a sound theory behind this. It has a sound rationale behind this provision. Nonetheless, it has been removed. Recent May, Dev Nanni Committee was appointed. They recommended the so government is phasing it out. Government is phasing it out, that dropping it to fifth. That up till fifth, you will not be detained. Above fifth, you can be detained. Means if you do not pass the exam, you can be held into the same class. So they are reducing this. But nonetheless, sound justification. Next, no donation, no capitation fee whatsoever. If you go to private schools, they of course ask donation in the name of development fee, this fee, that fee. Not allowed. No admission test or interview, either of the parents or the children. Private schools are very good. Private schools, mein they always take interviews nowadays. Especially in premium schools. The interviews, particularly of parents, is compulsory. So that's not good. Just because your parents are not literate, it does not mean you do not have the right to be literate. It's unethical. Parents say, but you just need it. It's schools, but they are putting their responsibility on parents. You will pass the interview, it means you have sufficient literacy, you can take care of the kid. So, how much you can do it? You can do it. This is subjugation of responsibility, it's highly unethical by any parameter. It is unethical to take the interview of the parents at least, even to the kids. It is your responsibility to make them educate. It is your responsibility to uplift them. But you're putting that pressure to the parents. Completely unethical. Having said that, it is banned. Nonetheless, it is practiced. This is the problem with India. You have laws which are not implemented properly. Laws are not made every thing. Implement nahi hota. And this is uh, a concept which I've told you multiple times. I kuch bachcho ko yaad bhi hoga. Known as soft state. Remember this concept, soft state. Soft state means a state which is weak on the people who disobeys the law rather than the people who obeys the law. If you are connected, you are well off, you are above the law. And who bring this kind of sentiments in India, particularly people with power. People with power. For example, Pradhan Mantri Modi, Rahul K. Jiwal, they were having rallies during election, during Corona period. None of them were imposed fine. Mujhe to yaad nahi aata that Rahul Gandhi has been fined by Delhi police for any corona violation or Modi has been fined for any Delhi police for any corona violation. But the common people were bitten when they were outside. You have seen those clips. Marriages were restrained. There was a very viral clip of Assam. There was a DM of the Assam. He went into a marriage and he was shouting there, I am your bloody DM. This arrogance is too high in civil services. So he was shouting over the family which had the permission from DM office to have a marriage of limited number of people. He went into the marriage and he shouted and he tried to close it down. It went viral, so he was reprimanded by the state government. That's different. Imagine if it had not gone viral. The same DM, do you think he has the guts to say this to the Prime Minister that it is Corona period, you are having a rally of 10 lakh people. But for common people, he is lecturing that you are violating Corona guidelines. This is known as soft state. Soft state, which is weak on the strong, which is strong on the weak. So you have provisions, but if you are powerful, you are connected, nothing happens to you. This is called soft state. So we have a provision, no interview, but nonetheless it is conducted. You can see any private school there. Next, curriculum and recognition. So these are the rights of a children. These are the rights of a children under RTE Act. Next, curriculum and recognition. An academic authority appointed by the center and the state government must formulate the curriculum and the assessment procedure. Just a union case, you have NCERT. NCERT makes the books and the curriculum is often made by CBSC. 
Central Board of Secondary Education makes the curriculum, uh, the structure, the format, the syllabus, and the books are made by NCERT. Similar case, may the state government under this law can also establish CBSE-like bodies for creating curriculum and other things. And most of the states have. Yeah, the states' ke pas apna regulator hota hai. State uh, Secondary Board of Education, they have it. There's a Central Board of a Secondary Education. Similarly, you have State Board of Secondary Education. The, every state has their new curriculum, so this is allowed. Next. All school must adhere to the stipulated. This is very important. That there should be a critical ratio of teachers and students. Take it. Ab teachers are not like Superman. Ki by there are ten thousand students sitting in a classroom. Kisi ko bhi pada denge. If you require a dedicated focus, then there should be a limited ratio. Maybe ten. Uh, one is to fifty. One teacher, fifty student at most. By that fifty student, he can devote proper time. He can know every fifty student one by one. He can understand their each other's special problem. Not all fifty student will be the same. Everyone will have different socio-economic background. Someone may come from a better family, having a good parented education. Some people may come from a poor family, have nothing. Some people have other problem. Some people have other problem, and that is the responsibility of the teacher here to give education according to student, not. According to the class, that's why when they you have too many students, they say. But you know, our country's what is the situation? We have no teachers. Professorship is good in India. Professorship is very good. Okay, they don't want to teach you. You don't want to study. So everyone is doing the good work. But teaching there is a problem. We have teachers, primary teachers, secondary teachers, sec senior secondary teacher. Government schools, they are treated like paid laborer. कुछ भी करवाते हैं उनसे. Except teaching, election duty you have to go, a vaccination you have to go, census you have to go. When it comes to teaching, nobody cares. If you don't go to the class, nobody cares. If you don't go to a election duty, terminated. So why would you take effort in teaching? The prime role of teacher should be teaching only, and the teacher should be judged according to the teaching standard. And this is the thing we have. But what can we do? Provision is good, not implemented any way. Next, teacher's qualification. That all teacher must go through a teacher eligibility test administered by relevant government and must possess a degree, B.Ed. Basically, so these are the provisions with respect to good schooling. So with this comes a conclusion: we do not need any extra effort if we implement R.T.E. with due sincerity. We can change India's education system. We do not need supermans. We do not need D.M.s, S.P. Whatever we do not need. Only thing we need is proper. Teaching standard implement RT. It has very good provisions. If you implement RT with a strict enforcement, less than ten percent of schools in India are RTE compliant. Less than ten percent, and primarily of those are private. The private may you have a good teacher to people ratio. Teacher are well qualified. Everything is there. They have labs. They have infrastructure. Government is not available at all. So this is the problem. You there are two students, one from a pathetic government school. चलो दिल्ली में तो स्कूल्स हैव बीन इम्प्रूव वेरी मच वी विल डू दैट एज अ केस स्टडी दिल्ली में स्कूल्स हैव बीन इम्प्रूव वेरी मच बिकॉज दिल्ली गवर्नमेंट डिवोट 25 परसेंट ऑफ इट्स बजट ऑन स्कूलिंग द गवर्नमेंट स्कूल्स इन दिल्ली मैच इज एनी प्राइवेट स्कूल यू कैन इमेजिन नॉट ऑल बट मैनी अदर स्टेट में बहुत बुरे हालात हैं पर्टिकुलरली यूपी बिहार में तो बहुत ही बुरा यूपी बिहार झारखंड उड़ीसा दे हैव वेरी पथेटिक कंडीशन ऑफ स्कूल स्कूल छोड़ो बस नाम है बोर्ड बोर्ड लगा होता है बाकी एवरीवन इज सिटिंग ऑन द ग्राउंड नो टीचर नथिंग इज अवेलेबल दिस इज अ डिजास्टर बट वी विल अंडरस्टैंड व्हाई इन अ बिट व्हाई गवर्नमेंट इज नॉट गिविंग ड्यू फोकस ऑन गवर्नमेंट स्कूल्स वी विल अंडरस्टैंड दैट इन अ बिट नेक्स्ट रिस्पांसिबिलिटी ऑफ स्कूल्स एंड टीचर्स एज आई टोल्ड यू दैट नो टीचर शैल एंगेज इन प्राइवेट ट्यूशन एंड नॉन टीचिंग एक्टिविटी बट एवरीवन इज एंगेज्ड आपको पता ही होगा इफ यू गो टू स्कूल सो द टीचर यू आर टीचिंग इन द स्कूल हैव अ प्राइवेट इंस्टीट्यूट आल्सो वो कहता है मेरी ट्यूशन में आ जाना आई विल टेल यू एंड दिस इज हाँ दिस इज अ प्रॉब्लम दो इीगल है इलीगल है नो स्कूलिंग टीचर कैन प्रोवाइड एनी काइंड ऑफ प्राइवेट ट्यूशन और नॉन टीचिंग एक्टिविटीज हाउ एवर दे कैन बी यूज फॉर सेंसर डिजास्टर रिलीफ इलेक्शन ड्यूटीज इसमें उनका इस्तेमाल हो सकता है बाय लॉ बट प्राइवेट ट्यूशन आर नॉट अलाउड बट नंदा लेस दे आर हैपनिंग एवरीवेयर The schools are mandated to form school management committees. It is not the government that will regulate schools. 
who will regulate school under rt a school management committee which will have people from the government school management administration including students parents they all should be there and they should analyze the functioning of the school make sure jaisa aapne pta hota hai parents teacher meeting ptm hota hai parents teacher meeting par wo ek tarfa hoti hai where the teacher calls the parents to tell ki unka bachcha kahan kahan kidhar kidhar nalayak hai aise nahi parents teacher meeting ka matlab hota hai that parents and teacher will come together have a meeting and discuss the affairs of the school not the affairs of the students but nonetheless it is not followed properly delhi mein modi kejriwal uh, government has tried this uh, but not very functional iske bahut reason we will understand in a bit anyway ideas are good so these are the two things which are the responsibility of the school provide remedial classes extra classes um, more test and test on demand that's what you have comprehensive evaluation mechanism in school plus there should be school management committees next give us addressal if anyone has any problem with non implementation of rte they can go to this body national commission for protection of child rights they can go to his uh, this body they can make complaint they can do whatever they want however the law also says that all state government can establish state commissions for given redressal and no state has kisi state mein commission nahi hai the only role we have is ncpcr that that works for this it takes care of the children if you have a problem you can go there so what is the process here you go to a government school if they deny admission you can go to a block education officer through that district magistrate if none of them hears then ncpc but ab aata hai main issue government school mein kaun jayega of course whose parents are not very well connected and well off if they would be that much knowledgeable that much connected why their kids would be in government schools so the problem here is the people who need these laws are either incompetent or unaware the people who do not need this laws are completely powerful this is the problem we have here the people who need this laws are ne- either incompetent or unaware that's why a solution was given by amartya sen in particular that you will do in governance also chapter of education amartya sen he is a nobel laureate world recognized economist he emphasized on school education He emphasized on school education but a single school system there will be one school for the rich as well as the poors the rich going to the school will make sure that the poors get the best facility now imagine there is a government school in a locality where a rickshaw puller son is going on same school mein the education secretary son is also going if there is no teacher available if there is no water no whatever that son will go to his father and tell to the father papa the teacher did not come the education secretary will immediately dial to the education officer kya ho raha hai sab immediately that teacher will be terminated so that teacher will be scared the teacher will be concerned the education department of that state will be concerned because they know that the students coming into these classes are coming from powerful connected families they're not coming from poor families abhi sabko pata hota hai government schools mein that these majority of them ek aad hoga to balak baat hai all of them are exclusively poor so who cares mai class mein aau na aau mera kya bigad lenge to do that they have to go to what block education officer district magistrate unki itni suni jati to baat hi kya thi and for that he has to sacrifice his one day two day three day maybe months wages they cannot survive with a month's wage they eat they earn daily they eat daily you people may have monthly ration in your houses but majority of india lives on daily ration they work in a day they uh, they get ration in the evening and they uh, eat the next day that's how majority of india functions so how would they enforce their rights ba samajh mein that's a good idea but the problem is who will oppose this idea the rich people would not tolerate their sons and daughters going to a school where the poor people go they are the biggest point of resistance they don't like this theek hai clear this much so idea acha hai not implementable ab let's see what the maharashtra school is, uh, rules are saying 
that private unaided schools located within 1 km radius of a government or government aided school means if there is a government school in the locality or a government aided school in a locality then the unaided school will not have to provide 25% reservation they are no longer required to reserve 25% of their seats for student from disadvantaged group and weaker section under rte quota the student of these area will be given priority for admission to government or aided schools this news is a blessing in disguise why is a blessing in disguise because now you are saying to everyone that you cannot study in private schools so it means they have to study in government and unaided sorry government and aided aided private schools there will be a pressure on the government to improve the services understand the more the students study in private the less is the pressure on the government to improve government schools wo to band karne ko baithi hai bas if you study more in private to wo to band kar denge government school badhiya jao maro mere kya what the point so understand this to blessing in disguise it will put pressure now on the government that if you are or not taking them to the private one then at least provide the better facility in the government one next if there is no unaided school nearby private school may still be selected for rte admission for this the state will reimburse the fee of these students so policy achhi hai maras government this policy is a good one the i think bjp sivsena alliance is going on there so they have brought a very good policy it will pre- put pressure on the government to improve government schools and <clears throat> also give freedom to the private schools to live their life that they want अब आते हैं रीजंस फॉर एग्जामेशन मैंने आपको बता ही दिया कौन सा वाला ये ये सिंपली सेज देर थ्री स्कूल आई टोल्ड यू गवर्नमेंट एडेड अन एडेड सो इफ देर इज अ गवर्नमेंट स्कूल इन द लोकैलिटी और अ गवर्नमेंट एडेड प्राइवेट स्कूल इन अ लोकैलिटी व्हिच मस्ट प्रोवाइड ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट रिजर्वेशन कंपल्सरी अंडर आर टी देन द प्राइवेट अन एडेड स्कूल डू नॉट हैव टू प्रोवाइड रिजर्वेशन they are free to do whatever they want they are not under compulsion by the state is the fayda ye hoga that all people will go to these school so government will be in a pressure to improve facilities theek okay? hai second aspect of education is costly private education these school charge whatever they want beyond requirements just to earn profit ab aisa hota kyun hai lesson the reason for exemption maine aapko bata hi diya because the private school was saying we are unaided we do not receive facility why you are imposing this on us wrong hai you have a social responsibility and education health are not your personal private making properties having said that to this this criticism that it will come weaken effort to combat educational inequalities notification counter gati spread why we are saying educational inequalities same reason a person who studied in very good private unaided school and a person studying in pathetic government aided or government schools now you are asking them both of those kids to apply for upsc civil services there is simply no comparison as a for example there is a exam in gs uh, prelims cset if you are well versed in english if english is your natural language imagine you are born to a family jahan pe sare angrezi paida hue the pehle din se so in that family you do not have to study c set if you have seen c set paper majority of the question are from comprehensions and if you are very well versed in english it is like your natural language you do not have to study c set it you will always clear it with flying marks so for example i never study c set in my entire life and i always score more than 140 reason being english is my natural language i speak english better than hindi i express my emotion in english better than hindi jabki hindi mein main paida hua tha ठीक है तो दिस इज अ प्रॉब्लम विद अस अंग्रेज हम बन नहीं पाए भारतीय हम रह नहीं गए कहीं बीच में फंस गए हम ठीक है एनी वे दिस तो यू आर आस्किंग फॉर एग्जांपल इफ आई सजेस्ट स्टूडेंट डू नॉट स्टडी एनीथिंग अबाउट सी सेट तो ये तो बेवकूफी हुई ना आई एम डिफरेंट इंग्लिश इज माय नेचुरल लैंग्वेज इट डज नॉट मीन इंग्लिश इज योर नेचुरल लैंग्वेज इन दैट सिनेरियो अ पर्सन हु हैज स्पेंड हिज एंटायर लाइफ इन हिंदी नाउ यू आर आस्किंग देम टू क्लियर सी सेट एग्जाम इसलिए प्रोटेस्ट हो रहा है that's why the hindi people are protesting against c set exam because they argue it is biased in favor of english speaker aur sahi baat bhi hai if you look at the people who clear civil services 90% of them are english speaker bahut kam hote hindi wale jabki hindi india mein 
इन गवर्नमेंट हिंदी प्रमोट करती है यूनियन गवर्नमेंट प्रमोट हिंदी बट इन ब्यूरोक्रेसी दे प्रमोट इंग्लिश तो इन हिंदी वालों का पॉइंट गलत नहीं है दे आर नॉट रॉन्ग बट इंग्लिश वालों को क्या लगता है दीज पीपल आर इन कॉम्पिटेंट दीज पीपल डोंट वॉन्ट टू वर्क हार्ड ऐसा नहीं है यू आर बॉर्न विद लैंग्वेज यू हैव यू आर एडवांटेजियस इसका मतलब ये नहीं है कि यू हैव सम स्पेशल स्किल यू आर वेल ऑफ यू आर बॉर्न इन टू फैमिली दैट स्पीक इंग्लिश यू हैड इंग्लिश एजुकेशन सिंस द डे वन तो इट इज द लक यू आर बॉर्न विद इसमें आपका कुछ स्पेशल नहीं बना एनी वे क्लियर दिस पॉइंट सो दैट्स वाई इट विल फाइट विद एजुकेशनल इन इक्वेलिटीज नाउ द प्राइवेट नाउ द गवर्नमेंट पुअर किड्स कैन नॉट गो टू very best quality private unaided schools okay private unaided school are the best in class they are literally best in class so aided hote hain obviously baat hai if your school require government support so obviously baat hai you are not very good tabhi to government ke paise pe chal rahe ho aur government ke to sabko pata hi pata hai private unaided are the best in class schools now you are removing 25% at least 25% kid every year were getting equal education to a rich kid अब वो भी चला गया सो दिस इज वन डिसएडवांटेज क्लियर है तो वन एडवांटेज एंड वन डिसएडवांटेज एडवांटेज इज दैट दिस पॉलिसी विल प्रमोट गवर्नमेंट स्कूल्स एंड प्रेशराइज गवर्नमेंट टू प्रोवाइड बेटर फैसिलिटी डिसएडवांटेज इज दैट द एजुकेशनल इनइक्वालिटी विल फर्दर इंक्रीज इन महाराष्ट्र क्लियर दिस मच नाउ लेट अस सी आर्गुमेंट्स इन फेवर मैंने आपको बताई दिए थोड़े से नाउ लेट्स सी अ कंपैरेटिव स्टडी ऑफ पब्लिक एंड प्राइवेट स्कूल्स इन इंडिया वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वन प्लीज सी दिस स्टूडेंट्स अचीवमेंट NSSO, National Sample Survey Organization conducted a study on India's education. It found out that the students in private school in India perform better than those in government school in their learning outcome across all level of education. अब इसमें कोई अब इसमें कोई rocket science तो है नहीं सबको पता है बात. Of course, the outcome in the private school are better than the government schools. the reason being better facility so common sense here yeah. you have better qualified teachers better focus on the students remedial classes extra classes curricular activities good sporting complex good sports complex good laboratory so of course you will have a better outcome so isme koi rocket science nahi hame pehle se pata tha dusri cheez enrollment rates according to district information system for education dise it's a system of the government which uh, basically collect statistic on education According to it, the proportion of student enrolled in private schools in elementary education in India was 31.4, which has increased, जबकि enrollment in government school have decreased. Enrollment in private is increasing. Enrollment in government is decreasing. Parents take a lot of loans. They take money from here, there, and there just to get their kid in a private school. Who is responsible for this? Government. highly incompetent governments are responsible that they cannot provide a good education to their their citizens and the amrit kal is here dekhte hain amrit kal ke bare mein aur bhi quality of infrastructure ye to common sense hum sabko pata hai of course the private has better infrastructure than government but when you are writing any question in mains or giving an argument in interview ye sab hum sabko pata hai but when you use a scholar when you use a report as a reference point the quality of your answer increases let's suppose i write this argument without any mention of any report so any teacher will give me for example 9 marks out of 15 if i write a very good one if you mention report he will of course give one marks extra is aapne dekha na everyone who wants to make bhangar argument they quote somebody gandhi said this gandhi ne bola bhi na ho gandhi said this because they know as soon as i use the word gandhi so koi bhi bhangar main aap pe chepunga aapko pasand aayegi that how it works psychological biases so you use the psychological biases whenever you are writing an answer try to make sure at least one scholar or one report per answer one se zyada mat jana zarurat nahi hai par ek report to mention karo taki whoever is checking your answer gs answer i am saying usko lage nahi ki tum kuch bhi bhangar pel rahe ho because these are humanities answer sabko sab pata hai अब हिमाइडीज में क्वेश्चन आएगा व्हाट इज द प्रॉब्लम इन एजुकेशन अरे हमें पता है व्हाट इज द प्रॉब्लम इन एजुकेशन हम तो उसी से निकले हैं यू कैन राइट इजी आंसर बिना पढ़े लिख दोगे आप पर वो नहीं चाहते हम क्या चाहते हैं एक आध रिपोर्ट चेप देना ठीक है तो इसलिए रिमेंबर दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स सो प्लीज रिमेंबर दिस इसको याद रखिएगा डाइस को ठीक है क्लियर है 
नेक्स्ट टीचर्स क्वालिफिकेशन कॉमन सेंस हम सबको पता है बट नंद रिपोर्ट का देख लेते हैं प्राइवेट स्कूल ऑफर्स टीचर्स विद बेटर क्वालिफिकेशन एंड एक्सपीरियंस एंड गवर्नमेंट स्कूल अकॉर्डिंग टू द रिपोर्ट परसेंटेज ऑफ टीचर विद ग्रेजुएट डिग्री इन गवर्नमेंट इज अराउंड सिक्सटी परसेंट जबकि कंपेयर टू एट्टी पॉइंट सिक्स परसेंट इन प्राइवेट स्कूल कॉस्ट ऑफ एजुकेशन ये तो हमें वैसे भी पता है द कॉस्ट ऑफ एजुकेशन इन प्राइवेट इज एक्सेसिवली हाई बट इसका नाम आप याद रखेंगे प्लीज रिमेंबर दिस नेम फॉर एवर इट्स अ रिपोर्ट इट्स अ वेरी क्रेडिबल इट्स एन एनजीओ एनजीओ प्रथम आई बिलीव एनजीओ प्रथम पब्लिश दिस रिपोर्ट नोन एज एनुअल सर्वे ऑफ एजुकेशन रिपोर्ट इट्स अ वेरी क्रेडिबल रिपोर्ट Every government machinery in India uses this report. Please remember this name. कोई भी आंसर एजुकेशन में आए इसे पेल देना ठीक है प्लीज रिमेंबर दिस नाउ लेट एस सी द रीजन वाई द गवर्नमेंट स्कूल एजुकेशन इन इंडिया इज पथेटिक एंड वाई द प्राइवेट इज बेटर वाई इट इज हैिंग लेट सी इनिशियली एजुकेशन वॉज प्रोवाइडेड बाई एंटरप्रन्योर्स एंड रिलीजियस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन जैसे आपको पता ही होगा इंडिया में यू हैड द मदरसाज इन इस्लाम एंड हिंदुजम में यू हैव मठ मठ होते हैं हिंदुजम में और आश्रम तो देर वॉज अंटर मिक्सिंग ऑफ रिलीजन एंड एजुकेशन इंडिया में इवन टिल मिडियवल टाइम इवन टिल ब्रिटिश केम इन टू पावर इंडिया में यू हैड मदरसाज फॉर मुस्लिम स्टूडेंट्स एंड मठ एंड आश्रम फॉर हिंदूज हु डिमोलिश दिस थिंग ब्रिटिश ब्रिटिश केम लॉर्ड मैक्यूले का आप नाम याद रखेंगे लॉर्ड मैक्यूले लॉर्ड मैक्यूले वॉज अपॉइंटेड स्पेलिंग चेक कर लेना लॉर्ड मैक्यूले वॉज अपॉइंटेड बाय द ब्रिटिश गवर्नमेंट ऑन एजुकेशन सिस्टम इन इंडिया ही सैड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कलोनाइज इंडियंस इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कैप्चर इंडियंस कैप्चर देयर माइंड फर्स्ट टू डू दैट डिमोलिश देयर कल्चर and to demolish their culture demolish their language because language is used for communicating culture if i speak in a tamil right now kisi ko kuch samajh nahi aayega you are understanding because i am speaking a language you understand right now so that's why english based education was introduced in india and if i speak english to obviously baat hai you will understand me better than anyone else so you will understand britishers better than anyone else That's why when you will study modern Indian history, there are phases: moderate, extremist, revolutionary. The moderates were the believer that British Empire is good for India. They were the believer, Dada Bhai Naroji and all. They used to say, they used to say, Britishers are justice-loving people. Why they believed in this? Because which education they are receiving, English-based. So you understand British culture better than your own culture. You have, may not have read Vedas or whatever, but you must have read some novel in English, some article in English. You read, but Hindi पढ़ने में problem हो जाती है. Sanskrit तो सवाल ही नहीं बनता. So you understand Britishers better than your own culture. That's how they colonize Indians. That's how they ruled over us for three hundred years. छोटे सोचिए मुट्ठी भर British और समुद्र भर Indians तब भी control कर लिया. Because they controlled this. Clear this much? So. Initially, the education in the world was provided by entrepreneurs and religious organization. Example in India was madrasas and mat and ashrams. But Prussia में बदलाव आता है. Prussia, it is the earlier name of Germany. Prussia was a Germany. Uh, Prussia expanded and became Germany. Prussia in 18th century government began to take over. Initially, education in the world was controlled by religious organizations. Then state came in. State took away the control from the religion and why this happened aap uh, when you will study polity ir wagera padhenge to you will study about a treaty ek treaty hai jiska naam hai treaty of westphalia as the part of world history bhi aap padhenge initially the religion controlled everything particularly europe mein church in 17th century there was a fight between church and state state basically mean king in the queens they said to the church how come you dictate me i am the king i control this land i provide for them i take care of everything you the pope the religious head in christianity sitting in rome dictating me how is it there 
so there was a big war known as 30 years so 30 saal tak ye ladai chali thi 30 year war between the state and the church the church was defeated basically religion was defeated by the state and this treaty gave birth to the modern states jise aaj aap dekhte hain today the states that you have in the world are known as modern states modern states have a fixed territory a population and sovereign in the form of government chosen by the people the badlav kyun aaya 17th century dekhiye year bada kamal ka 18th 17th century mein state became supreme over religion and so state controlled education as well kyun kyunki state ko ek baat samajh mein aa gayi education means control over mind if i control your education i control you when you are a student for example youngly born kid you are going to school education aapko nahi pata hai you don't know anything about history polity economy i am your government if i change your history books according to my liking i can make bad people good people i can make good people bad people jaisa recently ek change aaya hai ncert books mein agar aapko pata ho to hai pata hai kaun sa change aaya pehla mughals have been diluted not hataya nahi hai dilute kar diya second Nathuram God says name has been removed from NCERT book, and some radical word is used, and his religion is also removed. Why? Of course, the government is in power is Hindu right wing, which be- believes what Nathuram God said was particularly not wrong, not right also, but also not wrong. They see that he was a victim of the circumstances led to a violence. Anyway, his name is now removed. आपने पढ़ा होगा उसका नाम स्कूल बुक में आपके आने वाले बच्चे नहीं पढ़ेंगे. If your kid do not know that person, then the kid will not know the critical point of India's history. Then how? Then that is how I will control your mind. Pass samajh mein aayi? So we understood this. State became supreme over religion in Treaty of Westphalia. They understood to control minds. I have to control education. So they took control back from religion, and the control was transferred from religious organization to state. Clear? Hai? and then it is spread around the world around the world government pehle government itna interest nahi leta tha education mein education was always left to private entrepreneurship jaise india mein takshila nalanda they were not government organization they were private entrepreneurship nalanda and takshila both were associated with buddhism particularly nalanda so buddhist started nalanda which is known as the india's or world's first residential university nalanda is known as world's first residential university it was associated with buddhism so buddhist started that but yet all sciences were taught there not only buddhism hinduism christianity sab kuch padhaya jata tha wahan pe so that to make you more wide broad tab ki kisne start ki thi buddhist so pehle education jo hota tha na it was very much linked with religion but when state became supreme state took education away from religion and from this point starts secular education अब सोचिए यू आर बोर्न इन टू अवेंथ सेंचुरी ब्रिटेन तो अब वो अफकोर्स यू विल स्टडी इन क्रिश्चियन रिलेटेड एजुकेशन सिस्टम अब वो क्रिश्चियन मोनेस्ट्री में आपको क्या पढ़ाया जाएगा क्रिश्चियनिटी इज सुप्रीम जीजस ने जो बोला वही साइंस है साइंस में आपको ये नहीं पढ़ाया जाएगा कि अर्थ रिवॉल्व अराउंड द सन क्या पढ़ाया जाएगा द सन रिवॉल्व अराउंड द अर्थ क्रिश्चियनिटी बिलीव दैट सन रिवॉल्व अराउंड द अर्थ but from scientific fact we knows that the earth revolves around the sun but if you are taught into a 17th century mein paida hue hain and you studying in a christian school to so aapko kya padhayenge of course the earth the sun revolves around the earth and jesus is the god reincarnated whatever he said is the ultimate truth and you have to live according to the 10 tenets of jesus aur aap to yaar paida hue bachcho aapko kya pata rajneeti kya hoti hai so you are like jo bola ja raha hai satya hai You know, small gone kid. आपको नहीं पता what is true, what is false. That's how mental control works. लेकिन जब state supreme बनी, इसने कहा ना, अब ये ना चलेगा. So we started take control away from the religion and we started secular education. Education emphasizing on rationality because reason is the enemy of religion. Reason religion साथ में नहीं चलते कभी. If you use reason, religion cannot exist. Religion is belief. As a Kabir ne kaha, mano to God, nahi to mano patthar. Mano to God, nahi to patthar hai. 
if you believe then there is a god in a statue otherwise it's a stone marble nothing more than that so it's all about belief christianity islam and do bhi aap mante honge if you believe in that that's how it works if you don't believe in it it dismantles so i want you to not believe i means who state if you believe in religion then you will empower church not the state but i want you to believe in me that's how secular education start clear the history yes sir sir a question sir in finland there is no tuition fees so sorry what in finland there is no tuition fees so all the students uh study in only one school there is no different school for the rich and poor how is that possible how is that possible usko to finland ki study karna padega means no tuition fees ho sakta hai because nordic countries have a very different schooling system they don't believe in bookish schooling system they have believes in growth schooling system theek hai they allow to play and everything you want to have okay sir so. doesn't matter what i believe nazir the removal of nathuram gods is a political issue to usme mere belief se koi fark nahi padta ho gaya to ho gaya theek hai usme main kya kar sakta hu having said this nothing is permanent always remember everything changes bhavishya mein koi government aayegi wo fir dal degi naam tension na lena chaliye so over time the state has dominated education both to respond to the people's ambition and to shape minds of the next generation rational samajh mein aaya sabko i want to weaken religion i want to weaken church and empower me the king so of course i started to control education because through that i can control your mind and that's how secular education was born then there than the religious education the same thing was done by britishers in india lord macule theek hai please remember that but ab ek badlav aa gaya to this is history now come to the present but now we are seeing that private sector is enjoying a resurgence around the world around the world private education is rising but ek cheez humne there is a pattern we have noticed the pattern is that the increase are not happening in rich world it is happening in low end so private school private education is rising in मिडल इनकम ग्रुप डेवलपिंग कंट्रीज एल डी सी रिच कंट्रीज में प्राइवेट एजुकेशन इज नॉट राइजिंग दैट मच देयर गवर्नमेंट एजुकेशन इज द प्राइमरी सोर्स ऑफ एजुकेशन वाई इज इट सो बिकॉज ऑफ इसी बात है आई एम अ रिच कंट्री आई एम अ रिच गवर्नमेंट तो आई कैन प्रोवाइड वेरी गुड गवर्नमेंट स्कूल तो वाई वुड यू क्रे फॉर अ प्राइवेट स्कूल वट इज द प्राइम रीजन पेरेंट्स वॉन्ट देर किड इन टू अ प्राइवेट स्कूल ऑफकोर्स क्वालिटी ऑफ एजुकेशन the make amir government to i have a lot of money like america so i can establish any good private school jaise delhi ka case le lijiye why delhi has a good education model because delhi pe zimmedariya kam hai paisa bahut hai delhi is more or less a ut kind of setup majority of the expenditure in delhi are done by the union government because land and police jisme sabse zyada kharcha hota hai both are with the union government so modi ji spend on land and uh, aapka policing which is a which takes the maximum part of the state fund so delhi sarkar pe paisa jyada hai kharche kam hai and so delhi government can give 25% of its budget to education and that's how delhi schools are very well in private in front of even private schools baat samajh mein that's the reason if you are a rich country you can afford good quality government schools why would the parents in that country will prefer private schooling isliye private schools are increasing in developing and ldcs because here the government is weak it does not have sufficient money for a good government school and so parents who want to secure a good future for their kids prefer private one theek hai jaise yahan pe maine example likha haiti is a least developed country has 80% of the school students in private jabki germany mein kitne hai keval 5% why is it so because germany is a rich country it can afford good schooling system so wahan pe zarurat nahi padti अब लेट्स सी केस ऑफ इंडिया एन एनालिसिस वाज पब्लिश्ड बाय रिसर्चर ब्लेयर बीड एट एम आई टी यू एस ए मैसेच्यूस इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी यूएसए में है तो शी पब्लिश और ही जो भी है पता नहीं मुझे तो दिस पर्सन पब्लिश्ड अ स्टडी दैट देर इज अ मैसिव एक्सप्लोजन ऑफ प्राइवेट मैनेज एजुकेशन इंडिया में राइट नाउ वी आर सींग अ मैसिव एक्सप्लोजन ऑफ प्राइवेट एजुकेशन इन एवरी एवरी स्टेट also analysis by professor geeta gandhi kingan of institute of education london 
इन दोनों ने स्टडी करी अलग अलग स्टडी है उसकी अलग है इसकी अलग है एंड बोथ फाउंड वन कॉमन थिंग दैट गवर्नमेंट स्कूल इन इंडिया आर डिक्लाइनिंग जैसे गवर्नमेंट स्कूल एनरोलमेंट इन गवर्नमेंट स्कूल डिक्रीज बाय थर्टीन मिलियन वन पॉइंट थ्री करोड़ पीपल प्रिफर नॉट टू गो इन गवर्नमेंट स्कूल जबकि प्राइवेट में कितने बढ़ गए सेवनटीन पॉइंट फाइव तो वन थिंग इज वेरी क्लियर इंडिया में गवर्नमेंट स्कूलिंग इज गेटिंग वीकेंड एंड प्राइवेट स्कूलिंग इज गेटिंग स्ट्रॉगर एंड स्ट्रॉगर एंड वाई इज इट एपनिंग बेस्ड ऑन देयर एनालिसिस दे गिव दीज थ्री रीजन पहला रीजन बिकॉज ऑफ इंडिया कॉम्पिटिटिव इलेक्शन सिस्टम इंडिया में यू हैव सो मेनी पार्टीज कंपीटिंग इन इलेक्शन मार्जिन ऑफ विक्ट्री इज वेरी स्मॉल पर्टिकुलर इन स्टेट इलेक्शन बहुत छोटा होता है थाउजेंड थाउजेंड हंड्रेड एंड वोट्स पर सकारें बदल जाती है तो दे इज अ मार्जिन वेरी स्मॉल एंड एजुकेशन इज अ टूल नॉट ओनली टू गिव यू एजुकेशन बट ऑल्सो टू कंट्रोल योर माइंड अब पहली चीज ये होगी दूसरी आई एम ट्राइंग टू बिकम योर एम एल ए और एम पी टू फाइट इलेक्शन आई नीड पैसा मनी हु विल गिव मी द मनी कैपिटलिस्ट द लोकल बिजनेस मैन लोग आप भी देते हैं कॉमन पीपल ऑल्सो गिव फंडिंग टू पोलिटिकल पार्टी पर आपकी फंडिंग कितनी होगी एक या दो परसेंट ऑफ द एंटायर पॉलिटिकल मुझे चाहिए बीस करोड़ रुपए आप क्या दे दोगे दो लाख रुपए तो बाकी कहां से आएगा बाकी आएगा कैपिटलिस्ट से द कैपिटलिस्ट विल गिव दैट मनी ऑब्वियसली बात है इफ आई एम अ कैपिटलिस्ट आई गिव यू मनी फॉर आई फाइटिंग इलेक्शन तो आई वॉन्ट यू टू स्ट्रॉन्ग स्ट्रेंथन गवर्नमेंट स्कूल और वीकन दैम वीकन दैम If you will not weaken them, then how would these kids will come to my private school? This is the prime problem. Intentionally, government schools are weakened in India, are being weakened in India, so that the private schools can be promoted. If you look at the management structure of private schools, कभी notice करना जिसमें भी आप पढ़े होंगे, look at their board of directors or trustees. You will find one or two person belonging to your local MLA or MP in the board. हमेशा होता है जो लोकल एमएलए और एमपी उसकी वाइफ हस्बैंड या जो भी व्यक्ति होता है समबडी रिलेटेड टू योर लोकल एमपी एमएलए मस्ट बी इन द बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर्स और बोर्ड ऑफ ट्रस्टीज ऑफ दैट स्कूल आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट गुड प्राइवेट स्कूल एंड ऑफ कोर्स इफ मोर पीपल बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर्स में मिलते फीस द बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर्स गेट फीस पर सिटिंग द मोर नंबर ऑफ सिटिंग द मोर द फी एंड दे आर पेड इन करोड़ ऑफ रुपीज समटाइम लैक्स छोटे स्कूल में in that scenario if students will not come to the school how would i pay you the fee how would you get super rich intentionally government schools are weakened in india so that private schools can be promoted because these people give funding to your mp mlas to fight elections and when they come into government they do their bidding rather than your bidding second i am an mp mla mai कई बार मैं खुद ही स्कूल से शुरू कर देता हूँ ये शायद तीसरा पॉइंट है पता नहीं कौन सा पॉइंट है पहला ही है द पॉलिटिशियन ऑफन मेक अपियरेंसिस एट द स्कूल और इवन स्टार्ट देयर ओन स्कूल टू बिल्ड एंडियोरिंग कनेक्शन विद द लोकल कम्युनिटी मैं खुद एक स्कूल स्टार्ट करूंगा आई विल स्टार्ट अ स्कूल इन दैट स्कूल आई विल गिव एटी परसेंट पीपल प्राइवेट ट्वेंटी परसेंट आई विल गिव टू पुअर पीपल एडमिशन एंड आई विल हैव फोटो ऑप एंड आई विल सर्कुलेट इन द एंटायर लोकल कम्युनिटी देखो मेरा कितना बड़ा दिल है दैट्स हाउ द कंट्रोल वर्क सबको समझ में आ रहा है द प्राइम प्रॉब्लम इज पॉलिटिकल नेसेसिटी ऑफ मनी ऑफ करप्शन ऑफ ग्रीड ऑफ योर लोकल एम पीज एंड एम एल एस दैट फोर्सिस दैम टू वीकन गवर्नमेंट स्कूल टू स्ट्रेंथन प्राइवेट स्कूल और सेकेंड तो आपको पता ही है बिलीव अमंग पेरेंट्स Parents believe that private schools schools. are better than government school. Third point मैंने आपको बताई दिया funding की जरूरत पड़ती है Because money के बिना कुछ नहीं होगा ना जय इट इज आई एम नॉट थिंक करप्शन यू रिक्वायर मनी फॉर इवन फेयर इलेक्शन फेयर इलेक्शन में क्या फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू विल डू रैलीज यू विल डू प्रोग्राम्स वो फ्री में तो होगा नहीं कुछ भी भाई रैलीज में करने के लिए भी यू रिक्वायर पीपल अगर आपने कभी रैली अटेंड करा तो आपको पता सबको पैसा मिलता है वेरी <laughs> करता है If you go into rallies and everything, you are paid accordingly. So imagine करिए मोदी जी की या राहुल गांधी की रैली हो रही है उसमें वो लाखों करोड़ लोग आते कहाँ से हैं पर वो वोट में नहीं आते यू हैव सीन दिस पैटर्न रैलीज में यू हैव लैक्स ऑफ पीपल द एंटायर रोड इज फिल्ड फॉर किलोमीटर्स बट वैन इट वैन द वोटिंग रिजल्ट कम दैट पर्सन लूज इज द इलेक्शन ये कैसे हुआ अफकोर्स मेजोरिटी ऑफ देम आर पेड 
दे से टू दियर लोकल कार्यकर्ता की अपने घर से पांच छह उठा के लाना एंड जो रास्ते में मिल जाए सबको पकड़ के झंडा पकड़ा देना एंड गिव दम फाइव हंड्रेड रुपीज ऑन अदर हैंड ठीक है तो उसके लिए पैसा लगता है He is saying, if you are good, then why you need rallies? Because politics me goodness does not work, truth does not work, perception works. How many times I have explained to you? Politics is all about perception game. It's a no meaning. You will be the most powerful Harish Chandra in the world. The truth is Harish Chandra. If I can make a perception among the people, you are the biggest liar born on earth. Doesn't matter what you are. You are done. Politics is all about perception. It is not about truth. Okay, forget that myth. हर पार्टी करती है बीजेपी को ब्लेम मत करो सब करते हैं ठीक है सभी करते हैं केस स्टडी नेक्स्ट हाँ सो दे इज केस स्टडी विच हाईलाइट दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम वी आर हैविंग उसके बाद हम मूव करेंगे अगली न्यूज पे दिस इज अंपॉर्टेंट वन इसलिए मैं इतना टाइम इस पर डिवोट कर रहा हूँ प्लीज गो थ्रू इन डिटेल अब लेट सी हरियाणा गवर्नमेंट ब्रॉड स्कीम नोन एस चिराग हरियाणा गवर्नमेंट ब्रॉड स्कीम नोन एस चिराग स्कीम अंडर दिस गवर्नमेंट स्कूल इफ यू स्टडी If you are government school student, if you study in a private school, if your family has an annual income less than one point eight lakh, you can go into a private school. You are studying in a government school, your parents have less than one point eight lakh income annual, then you can go to a private school, and government will reimburse your fee. So if you go to a private school, government will pay your fee, but at the same time, if you go to a government school, you will pay your own fee. So which school you will prefer? Private. Over time, you all will switch to private school. Then I will say, what is the point of keeping an empty school? So would I close it or keep it? क्या बनाओगे? अरे यहाँ hospital तो बन गया ठीक है. But but would I hospital में भी the same problem है privatization of healthcare. Very severe problem. जान मूझ के government hospitals are not improved so that a private can be improved. वरना funding आएगी कहाँ से? तो सारा problem देखिए पता क्या? सारा problem funding का है. This private capitalist entrepreneurship based funding is the prime reason the governments are control around the world. किसी भी देश में तो ले जाओ. Even to the communist China, communist China में भी the government does not run for the people. It run for few people. It's a severe problem in every country. Few people with money controls government around the world. Doesn't matter the country you speak. चाहे communist हो चाहे capitalist हो. Capitalist में थोड़ा ज़्यादा हो जाता है बस ये फ़र्क है. Anyway, so बहुत प्यारी scheme थी. It, under this you If you go to a private school, government will pay your fee. If you in a government school, above eighth, because eighth till to fee laga nahi sakte. Above eighth, you will pay the nominal fee. Of course, you will prefer a private one. Over time, the government will close down. Now, what is the intellectual foundation of this? The intellectual foundation is, ah, uh, where? Milton Friedman. Milton Friedman is a scholar. He gave a theory of education. In that, he emphasized the role of state in education. He argued. That what kind of role state can play in education? But one thing remember about Milton Friedman, he is a pure capitalist. He is a pure pro market, pro demand and supply. Something if new students के लिए मैं बता दूँ, it is known as neoliberalism. Today you live in a neoliberal world. Neoliberalism means market fundamentalism. it means that everything shall be governed by demand and supply the government will not interfere that is known as neo liberalism ab milton friedman is one of the strongest advocate of neo liberalism theek hai so obviously baat hai if he is an advocate of neo liberalism so what would he promote capitalist education or government education capitalist that's the role he said and the concept he coined is known as हाँ, neighborhood benefit. The concept he coined was neighborhood benefit, which is also known by the name of the school voucher. इसी philosophy पे based है हरियाणा की चिराग स्कीम. देखते हैं कैसे काम करेगा. According to Milton Friedman, the government's role in education, because after Treaty of Westphalia in 18th century, government started to control education. so that they can control the mind of the young generation and can move them away from religion towards science towards rationality and towards supporting the king rather than the church but over time private entrepreneurship they came into being and they starting taking away education from the government but government is resist nahi kar raha kyun nahi kar raha 
because government is not fearful of capitalist government is fearful of religion because church if become strong it will weaken the state baat samajh rahe religion become strong it weakens a rational modern state capitalist aisi koi problem nahi hai capitalist runs on profit wo kisi religion ko promote nahi kar rahe they do not care about the religion they only care about profit that is their god usse mujhe khatra nahi hai profit hai karte raho isliye the governments are not resisting capitalist control on education but they resist religious control on education you see this pattern news mein whenever there is a news that government is trying to promote religion like for example geeta quran promote kar rahi hai immediate news ban jata hai why we think that putting religion in education is bad religion can also be a moralizing force because of the perception made by capitalist agar religion based education ho jayega then the religion will again take over education and then how would i run it as a profit enterprise pa samajh that's you need to understand so shift ye samajh mein aaya from religion control education to state control education to capitalist control education and that is because of neo neoliberalism which says that everything shall be governed by demand and supply market forces state or the government should not intervene and milton friedman said that the school should be funded by the government because schools are important for producing values required for democratic functioning very obvious you are a young kid agar main aapko communism sikhaunga to aap communist banoge agar main aapko capitalism sikhaunga to aap capitalist banoge agar main aapko democracy sikhaunga to aap democrats banoge that's how mental shaping works isliye depending what kind of education you receive you become that person you're born into a culture but you adopt ideology religion aapke parents ne aapko diya caste aapko society ne de diya gender mil diya sab kuch mil gaya ideology ek aisi cheez hai jo aap khud chunte hain accept ideology everything is given by the society to you ranging from your race religion caste gender sab kuch society deta hai सिर्फ इडियोलॉजी समथिंग यू रैशनली चूज कहां से स्कूल्स स्कूल्स एंड यूनिवर्सिटीज दैट इज वट ही सेट दैट स्कूल इफ फंडेड बाय द गवर्नमेंट दे कैन प्रमोट डेमोक्रेटिक फंक्शनिंग दे कैन प्रमोट डेमोक्रेसी दैट इज वट ही कॉल्ड नेबरहुड बेनिफिट और कैसी गवर्नमेंट एजुकेशन नहीं वट गवर्नमेंट विल डू गवर्नमेंट विल इशू वाउचर नोन एज स्कूल वाउचर government will give voucher say for example 10000 rupee voucher to every parent then they will be all private school government school nahi hoga they will be all private schools government will give you a voucher you can take that voucher and go to any private school and get admission that school will take that voucher and give to the government and receive the money so this is called government funded capitalism dobara main repeat karta hu kaise work karega under this milton friedman's idea government will give you a voucher known as school voucher of some money you will take that voucher and you can select any private education institute you will give that voucher to the school the school will take that voucher to the state and take the money isme capitalism kaise promote hua because government will not give you education they will be all private schools who will compete with each other say for example mr adani's school ambani's school gupta's school shukla's school they will be different schools private schools they will fight for you wo kahega i will provide you better laboratories wo kahega i will provide you better teachers so everyone will compete because it's a purely competitive market system government school nahi hoga they will compete for better education or whatever is there because they have to maximize profit to maximize profit they have to maximize customer satisfaction so basically he is converting education into what customer client relationship he is converting education into not a welfare activity but a business model in which there will be private schools of various companies corporation ngo whatever is there and you will have the money to ki dekhi har kisi pe paisa hota nahi private education ka to uske liye government kya karegi aapko voucher degi jise bolenge school voucher isi ideology pe base karte hue मुझे उम्मीद नहीं है हरियाणा के ऑफिशियल को पता होगा कोई फिलोसफी नहीं पता होगी 
पर हाँ आइडिया उन्हें पता है तो चिराग स्कीम सी है चिराग स्कीम में क्या हो रहा है If you go to a private school, the government will fund your education. If you go to a government school, you will pay the money. हालांकि ये हटा दी गई, successful नहीं हुई, बहुत criticism हुआ इसका. सबको concept clear हो रहा है? Mil- Table benefit is a term used by Milton Friedman. उसका real life name है school voucher. नाम अलग है, काम एक ही. Clear to everyone? Online people, online people clear है सबको? ठीक <coughs> है, बाकी तो पढ़ लेना. अब दिस वाज़ द क्रिटिसिज्म बाय दिस हरियाणा विद्यालय अध्यापक संघ दे आर्ग्यू दैट दिस दिस स्कीम चिराग स्कीम एम्स टू प्रमोट प्राइवेट स्कूल एट द कॉस्ट ऑफ गवर्नमेंट स्कूल वो कह रहे हैं यार आप इतना पैसा काहे लगा रहे हो उसमें द मनी दैट यू विल गिव टू द स्टूडेंट फॉर प्राइवेट स्कूलिंग उस पैसे को गवर्नमेंट में क्यों नहीं लगाते एक बार रिपीट करना है उसे मैं रिपीट कर देता हूँ दोबारा से मिल्टन फ्रिडमिन सैड that there should be no government school because milton friedman is a pure capitalist he is a pure believer of neo liberalism a market determined setup so he says because everyone cannot afford private education private education is costly so there will be no government school there will be all private schools who will compete with each other for students in that process the state will issue vouchers to the parents of the kids and then parents can choose any of the private schools jitne bhi hain you can choose any of the private schools go to there give the voucher the private school will encash the voucher from the state is process mein competition is also promoted but a government funded competition because private school will compete for students the way uh, जैसे आपने देखा होगा जब आप यहाँ पे एडमिशन लेने आए होंगे तो यू मस्ट सीन लॉट ऑफ पीपल कि आओ मैडम ये देख लो यहाँ पे हमारा ये मिलता है सेम मैकेनिज्म होगा बस फर्क ये होगा कि अभी आपके पेरेंट्स आपके फंडिंग कर रहे हैं फिर स्टेट करेगा पर मैकेनिज्म सेम रहेगा दे विल बी ओनली गवर्नमेंट तो कोचिंग देती नहीं है दे ऑल दे ऑल प्राइवेट इंस्टीट्यूट तो प्राइवेट इंस्टीट्यूट गिव यू कोचिंग बट आपको फंड कौन करता है योर पेरेंट्स पर पेरेंट्स को हटा दो कौन फंड करेगा स्टेट बात समझ आए सबको आप क्लियर ऑनलाइन पीपल सो इट विल इंक्रीज टैक्सेस विल इंक्रीज टैक्सेस तो क्या फर्क पड़ता है डजेंट मैटर देखिए एज लॉन्ग एज एजुकेशन इज गिवन हेल्थ इज गिवन टैक्स का कोई मतलब नहीं है टैक्स का मतलब ही इसीलिए होता है द प्रेजेंट सिनेरियो इज गोइंग ऑन देयर सॉरी व्हाट द प्रेजेंट इज गोइंग ऑन दिस मेथड Yes, the present is that is what we are discussing now. This is the present you are having. That's how that is the reason that private institutes in India are increasing at a rapid pace, and government schools are falling intentionally. Government schools are being killed so that the private schools can be promoted. Simple rationale. अब ये जो भी इन्होंने बोला हाँ इन्होंने क्या बोला the Sangh the Haryana Sangh uh, Vidyalaya Adhyapak Sangh Teachers Council basically. This association of teachers of Haryana has said, "You are spending crores of rupees on Chirag scheme. Why don't you give that money to the teachers? Why don't you recruit more teachers? Give them more training, make more schools. The road will not be easy. You are ready to give crores of rupee to fund private schooling. Why don't you divert that money for recruiting more teachers? Just as you have told, Haryana, there are about fifty thousand vacancies are vacant, or you can go to any state." thousands lack of vacancies around the country lack of teachers vacancies are pending sarkar jaan mujh ke nahi bhar rahi hai unhe private school kaise promote honge if you will have more teachers in government school then government schooling will improve then how would you promote private schools yahi reason hai why more doctors are not recruited why government does not government chahe to for example government agar aapko pata ho right now central government ne bataya tha parliament mein there are around 60 lakh vacancies गवर्नमेंट के पास साठ लाख पोजीशन खाली पड़े हैं सॉरी साठ लाख छह लाख का सॉरी छह लाख के करीब पोजीशन खाली पड़े हैं सिक्स लाख पोजीशन और सोचिए फॉर कौन सा एग्जाम हुआ था अभी यूपी में आर ओ ए आर ओ का आई थिंक फिफ्टी लाख समथिंग पीपल अप्लाइड फॉर थाउजेंड्स ऑफ वैकेंसीज बाय दिस मच ऑफ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट आप सात लाख पोजिशन भर नहीं सकते क्या भरेंगे नहीं क्यों नहीं भरेंगे प्राइवेटाइजेशन कैसे होगा If we will fill those vacancies, government vacancies will be filled. Then how would I move to privatization? I have to reduce government vacancies. 
इसलिए यू कैन गो टू एनी गवर्नमेंट डिपार्टमेंट यू विल फाइंड वेकेंट पोजिशन सेम हरियाणा में कितनी है लगभग यू कैन स्पेंड मनी ऑन प्राइवेट स्कूलिंग स्पेंड दैट मनी ऑन रिक्रूटिंग दीज पीपल अभी बोल दो ना रिक्रूटमेंट कर लो तो सरकार क्या बोलती है पैसा ही नहीं है हमारे पास इफ यू से टू द गवर्नमेंट रिक्रूट मोर पीपल दे आर लाइक वी डोंट हैव दिस मच ऑफ मनी टू पे सैलरीज बट यू कैन फंड दिस दिस इज द क्रिटिसिज्म क्लियर है एवरीथिंग सो प्लीज रिमेंबर दिस ऑल अब पढ़ लेना जो भी है जल्दी से हम नेक्स्ट पे जाते हैं अमेंडमेंट टू सरोगेसी लॉ द सेकंड न्यूज़ इज विद रिस्पेक्ट टू सरोगेसी एक्ट रिसेंट में एक अच्छी अमेंडमेंट आई है इसमें द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट हैज अमेंडेड द सरोगेसी रूल्स 2020 to permit the use of donor gamete which consists of sperms and the egg cells let's understand what is surrogacy surrogacy means when a couple is unable to conceive naturally they take the help of the third person known as surrogate ab <coughs> surrogacy was not regulated in india until 2021 sayad ha 2021 act 2021 mein government passed a law that is surrogacy regulation act 2021 This act has some problem, some strength. पहली प्रॉब्लम और स्ट्रेंथ आप कह सकते हैं अबाउट सरोगेसी पहले आइए सरोगेसी आई टोल्ड यू इट्स इट इज एन अरेंजमेंट इट इन विच अ वुमन नोन एज सरोगेट अग्रीज टू अंडर गो प्रेगनेंसी एंड चाइल्ड बर्थ ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ अनदर इंडिविजुअल कपल रेफर टू एज इंटेंडेड पेरेंट्स अब देर आर टू वराइटी ऑफ सरोगेसी वन इज नोन एज कमर्शियल एंड ऑल्ट्रिस्टिक वन इज नोन एज Altruistic surrogacy and other is known as commercial surrogacy. Altruistic means when somebody, some woman goes as a surrogate for someone for altruistic purposes, not money purposes. Just as you have seen a lot of news, uh, the sisters, the brother, the sisters, the mother-in-law, and a lot of cases where they give birth to their children. Most of cases where the mother-in-law have born the kids of the India. Me to nahi hota hai sa. Western countries ki me baat kar raha hu. ठीक है अमेरिका में भी हुआ था देर वॉज अ मदर इन लॉ शी बॉर्न द किड ऑफ देयर शी बॉर्न द किड ऑफ देयर किड्स बिकॉज दे वर अनेबल टू कंसीव नेचुरली सो सी बिकेम द सरोगेट अब वो पैसा तो चार्ज करेगी नहीं अपने बेटे से या अपनी बेटी से अपनी बहू से फॉर दैट सी डेट दिस एंड इट्स अ वेरी कॉमन प्रैक्टिस इन अलॉट ऑफ फैमिलीज इंडिया में इतना पास के रिलेशन में नहीं होता इंडिया में जनरली द सिस्टर्स एंड सिस्टर इन लॉ नॉट प्रेफर्ड बट येस इट डज हैपन इन अ बिट रिलेटिव जैसे कजन उस रिलेशन में चले जाते हैं अब इसमें क्या है द पर्सन बिकम सरोगेट दिस इज कॉल्ड एल्ट्रिस्टिक सरोगेसी समझ आया सरोगेसी क्या है एल्ट्रिस्टिक वेद अ वुमन इज विलिंग टू बिकम अ सरोगेट बट नॉट फॉर मनी बट फॉर अदर देन मनी पर्पसेस बेसिकली एल्ट्रिज्म अह एल्ट्रिज्म को हिंदी में पता नहीं क्या बोलते हैं एनीवे पढ़ लो इसे इट इन्वॉल्व्स नो फाइनेंशियल कॉम्पेंसेशन नेक्स्ट इज कमर्शियल कमर्शियल सरोगेसी इज व्हेन द थर्ड पर्सन हु इज डूइंग सरोगेसी फॉर मनी सिंपली कमर्शियल सरोगेसी माने सरोगेसी फॉर मनी एल्ट्रिस्टिक माने सरोगेसी विदाउट मनी फॉर अदर देन मनी पर्पसेस अब दिस बिल द सो कॉल्ड लॉ नोन एज सरोगेसी रेगुलेशन एक्ट इट बैंस कमर्शियल सरोगेसी अंडर यस अंडर दिस लॉ कमर्शियल सरोगेसी कैन नॉट हैपन ओनली एल्ट्रिस्टिक सरोगेसी कैन हैपन means somebody can become the surrogate only for helping you to have a kid not for any other purposes ab science and tech mein padhenge two technology ivf and iuf intra uh, in vitro fertilization and intra uterine fertilization science and tech mein padhenge different technologies hain in vitro fertilization means where the egg and the sperms are fused in a lab and then implanted into a woman that is called ivf ek hota iuf In which the sperm is directly delivered to the fallopian tubes. आपको पता होगा fertilization of eggs happen in fallopian tube. Then it travel to uterus and attach to the wall. आप समझ में आई? तो IVF में you fertilize the egg in a laboratory in a petri dish and then install that into a woman. IUF में you directly fertilize the egg by artificially taking the sperm to the fallopian tubes. IUF is used when the sperm do not have virility. You think you have seen that uh, tail that rotates. If sperm is perfectly good, sperm cell which is at the head of the sperm is perfectly good, but it is not having a virility means it cannot travel. In that scenario, IUF is allowed. But baki case me IVF karna padta hai because IVF me you artificially fuses them together. 
नॉर्मल फर्क समझ में आया सो एनी टेक्निक कैन बी यूज सरोगेसी कैन बी बाय एनी टेक्निक एंड समटाइम इट दिस इज ऑल्सो नोन एज थ्री पेरेंट बेबी ऐसे बेबी को हम क्या बोलते हैं थ्री पेरेंट बेबी द एग कम फ्रॉम समबडी एल्स द स्पर्म्स कम फ्रॉम समबडी एल्स एंड द इम्प्लांटेशन हैपन्स इन somebody else this kind of babies are known as three parent baby sometimes two parents bhi ho sakta hai if the woman's egg are not comfortable or not okay in that scenario what happens is eggs are taken from somebody else also those are known as two parent baby so you are a couple aise samjhiye you are a couple the woman is unable to have good egg egg jo hai they have deteriorated in that scenario you take egg from somebody else But implantation happens in the couple itself. ये भी three parent baby बन जाएगा. But implantation can also happen in the other woman. वो भी हो सकता है. So there are different mechanism available. All are pen. बात समझ में आई? आप ये सारे mechanism science and tech में अच्छे से पढ़ोगे. मैंने बस summary दिया आपको. So all these mechanism are pen, but allowed only for one purpose. The purpose is कहाँ गया? Altruistic surrogacy. Clear this much? अब द क्वेश्चन कम्स इज गुड आइडिया बैड आइडिया क्या लगता है आपको ऑन वन साइड देखिए नथिंग इज ब्लैक एंड व्हाइट इन दिस वर्ल्ड गुड आइडिया इन दिस सेंस इट डज नॉट अलाउ एक्सप्लोटेशन बिकॉज इट इज ऑफन सीन इसमें क्या हो रहा था बाय कमर्शियल सरोगेसी यूर रिड्यूसिंग अ वुमन टू अ कमोडिटी अ बर्थ गिविंग मशीन सो इट वॉज डीह्यूमनाइजेशन बट नेगेटिव डिसएडवांटेज भी है मेजोरिटी ऑफ द वुमन हु गोज थ्रू सरोगेसी Are the women who do not have money for survival? कोई मर्जी से सरोगेसी नहीं कर रहा है. They are doing this out of compulsion. मैं हमेशा कहता हूँ, a woman goes for prostitution when the governments are incompetent and the society is corrupt. इन दोनों की कमी से ही किसी को ऐसा करना पड़ता है. When the society is unable to provide, when the government is unable to take care of the people, then they have to go for begging. Beggars are a clear case of failure of the state. Same. Prostitution same surrogacy कोई अपनी मर्जी थोड़ा करेगा ये चीज बात समझ में अल्ट्रोस्टिक अलग बात है कमर्शियल की मैं बात कर रहा हूँ अब प्रॉब्लम क्या है थाईलैंड में ऐसा हुआ था थाईलैंड हैड प्रॉपर कमर्शियल सरोगेसी देन द लॉ वॉज पास टू बैन कमर्शियल सरोगेसी फिर क्या हुआ इट वेंट अंडरग्राउंड अंडरस्टैंड समथिंग यू कैन नॉट स्टॉप रेगुलेट ऑलवेज रिमेंबर दिस समथिंग यू कैन नॉट स्टॉप रेगुलेट दैट थिंग बिकॉज जैसे फॉर एग्जाम्पल अल्कोहल गुजरात इज अ ड्राई स्टेट बिहार इज अ ड्राई स्टेट तो क्या वहां अल्कोहल मिलता नहीं है इफ इट इज लीगल यू कैन रेगुलेट दैट नो बडी गेट बैड अल्कोहल जिसको पीना उसको पीना आप रोक नहीं पाओगे दैट इज द फंडामेंटल लॉ ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स वेन एवर दे इज अ डिमांड दे विल ऑलवेज बी अ सप्लाई एटलीस्ट बाई मेकिंग अल्कोहल लीगल यू कैन रेगुलेट दैट नो बडी ड्रिंक बैड अल्कोहल अब देखिए आपको हर दिन न्यूज आती है गुजरात में कुछ लोग कच्ची दारू पी के मर गए बिहार में कुछ लोग मर गए क्यों हो रहा है Somebody who has to drink will drink because the legit supply is not available. They go for illegit supply and उसमें quality control खत्म हो जाता है Same is the reason for prostitution that Supreme Court said. We all can agree prostitution is a moral sin. You are exploiting one woman, you are exploiting one human for somebody else's pleasure. But यार it is happening since antiquity. Since the humanity is in existence, it is available. Alcohol and prostitute, always are available. Rahi hai. You cannot stop this. India me has been illegal. So, we have stopped it. There are red light. There are red light areas in every country. And the biggest one is in Mumbai. Me hi hai. Ye chiz aap notice karna. Where wealth comes, drugs, prostitute comes. Mumbai has the largest den of prostitution. Why? Because there is a lot of money to spend on prostitution. Why? Because there is a lot of money to spend on prostitution. बात समझ में आई सो दैट्स अ सुप्रीम कोर्ट सेड दैट प्रोस्टिट्यूशन इज अ प्रोफेशन प्रोस्टिट्यूशन जब प्रोफेशन बन गया तो सुप्रीम कोर्ट ये नहीं कह रहा है बिकम अ प्रोस्टिट्यूट सुप्रीम कोर्ट कह रहा है दोस वुमन हु आर विक्टिम ऑफ दिस दे हैव अ राइट टू अ डिग्निफाइड लाइफ जस्ट बिकॉज़ दे आर इन अ प्रोफेशन यू थिंक इज नॉट गुड इसका मतलब ये नहीं है कि उनकी डिग्निफाइड लाइफ नहीं हो सकती बात समझ में आ रही है तो दैट इज द प्रॉब्लम हियर यू हैव बैंड कमर्शियल सरोगेसी नाउ द सरोगेसी विल गो अंडरग्राउंड कम से कम पहले आप रेगुलेट तो कर सकते थे अब वो भी नहीं होगा कोई सर कोई प्रेग्नेंट हो जाएगी वो बोलेगी नहीं मैं सरोगेट हूँ शी विल बी अ सरोगेट शी विल पेड इन कैश एंड शी विल बिहेव एज इफ आई एम प्रेग्नेंट बाय माय बॉयफ्रेंड तो शी विल नेवर क्लेम टू बी अ सरोगेट नुकसान 
शी कैनॉट क्लेम बेनिफिट्स अगर सरोगेसी रेगुलेट हो जाती लीगल कमर्शियल को लीगल करके आप रेगुलेट करते तो एवरी सरोगेट मस्ट बी रजिस्टर्ड तो आप एंश्योर कर सकते हो दैट एवरी वुमन हु इज सरोगेट रिसीव ऑल मेडिकल फैसिलिटीज यू कैन मेक श्योर शी रिसीव द मनी एट द एंड ऑफ प्रेगनेंसी ये नहीं कि बच्चा लिया भाग गए अब क्या है कमर्शियल सरोगेसी होगी नहीं यू विल बिकम अ सरोगेट फॉर मनी और इंडिया में वेयर एवर पॉवर्टी इज देयर दिस थिंग्स हैपेंस दे विल बिकम सरोगेट फॉर मनी स्टेट डज नॉट नो हु इज सरोगेट देन इवन इफ द पीपल हु आर हैविंग सरोगेसी मान लेते हैं प्रेगनेंसी के लास्ट डे में उन्होंने नहीं लिया बच्चा फिर ऐसा बहुत होता है इफ दे फाउंड आउट दैट फॉर एग्जांपल दे हैव अ प्रेफरेंस फॉर मेन मेल सम ऑफ वुमन इज बोर्न नहीं लेना चाहते वो इफ शी और द फीटस इज बोर्न विद डिफेक्ट नहीं पसंद उन्हें कैसे करोगे दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम नाउ स्टेट हैज लेफ्ट दीस पीपल ऑन देयर मर्सी सबको समझ में आया एडवांटेज एथिकली राइट बिकॉज़ यू आर कंसीडरिंग दैट दे आर नॉट कमोडिटीज दे आर नॉट बर्थ गिविंग मशीन्स बट दिस एडवांटेज इट विल हैव बैड कॉन्सिक्वेंसेस नाउ इट इज नो लोंगर रेगुलेटेड and it will get illegal and india is a soft state ha agar aap is kanoon ko enforce kar sakte ho fir ye padega kanoon if you can make sure no woman become commercial surrogate for any reason then perfect law hai ye lekin hum sabko pata aisa nahi hone wala kyunki aap unhe khana to de nahi paoge to obviously baat hai wo surrogate banengi fir aap rok kaise sakte this is the problem that's why i always say the only most important thing for a society is food hunger मेलन्यूट्रिशन हेल्थ एजुकेशन इन पर फोकस करो नाइनटी परसेंट प्रॉब्लम ट्रीट हो जाए आपकी जिंदगी की ठीक है क्लियर है सबको और ये रिफॉर्म्स आप लिख सकते हैं कहीं पे भी अब इंटेंडिंग पेरेंट्स पढ़ लेना यार सरोगेट मतलब मैंने आपको समझा ही दिया और इसमें कंडीशन क्या है क्लोज रिलेटिव होनी चाहिए द सिस्टर सिस्टर इन लॉ डॉटर डॉटर इन लॉ नीस कैन बी द सरोगेट एंड बिटवीन ट्वेंटी फाइव टू फोर्टी फाइव ये प्रोविजन ठीक है एज अच्छी रखी है उन्होंने नेक्स्ट शी मस्ट हैव डिलीवर्ड अ चाइल्ड ऑफ अर ओन प्रीवियसली अब ये भी ड्रामा है कैन नॉट एक्ट एज अरोगेट मोर देन टू आईसी अच्छा प्रोविजन है और आई कैन पर्सनली गारंटी इनमें से कोई कानून लगने वाला है नहीं खुला आएगा उसे पैसे खिलाओ और जितनी बार सरोगेसी करनी कर लो दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ अ सॉफ्ट स्टेट वे आर लॉज आर मेड पर उनका इंप्लीमेंटेशन इतना पथेटिक है इतना पथेटिक है दैट यू कैन वॉलेट लॉ विद इम्प्यूनिटी सो दैट्स वाई ऑलवेज रेदर देन मेकिंग लॉज इन फोर्स ऑलरेडी मेड लॉस हम पे इतने कानून है वी कैन मेक गुड थिंग्स इन इंडिया और इम्पोज नहीं हो पाते हैं लेस देख लेते हैं दैट मैंडेज रिटर्न इनफॉर्म कॉन्सेंट फ्रॉम द सरोगेट मदर ऑप्टेन एटलीस्ट टू वीक्स बिफोर इम्प्रू इम्प्लांटेशन तो सरोगेसी लॉ क्लियर है कमर्शियल सरोगेसी इज बैंड देर सम कंडीशन फॉर वुमन टू बिकम सरोगेट देर कंडीशन हाँ एक और चीज ओनली मैरिड कपल कैन गो फॉर सरोगेसी अब ये मुझे पसंद नहीं आया प्रोविजन The why the reason is, जैसे फॉर एग्जाम्पल आपको पता होगा करण जोहर ही इज गे बोलता नहीं है पर सबको पता है ठीक है ना भी हो क्या पता ठीक है दैट इज नॉट द पॉइंट द पॉइंट इज ही हैज आई थिंक थ्री चिल्ड्रन उसने अडॉप्ट करे हैं एंड आई बिलीव दे आर फ्रॉम सरोगेसी ही हैज गॉट दो या तीन जो भी है एंड दे आई बिलीव आर फ्रॉम सरोगेसी ही हैज टेकन हिज स्पम एंड एग्ज ऑफ समबडी एल्स तो जहां तक है सरोगेसी से है पक्का नहीं पता पर जो भी है By just because you cannot marry or you don't want to marry, marry कोई compulsory provision थोड़ी ना life का If you don't want to marry, it doesn't mean you cannot have kids. तो ये provision थोड़ा सा गड़बड़ है कि only married कप और ये क्या गारंटी है कि married people will be better at taking care of the kid than the unmarried one? ये कौन सा rule कहाँ से निकला? Why it is being done? Because to promote societal morality. Society में क्या है? Without marriage, no sexual intercourse at all. मैंने आपको कई बार समझाया था अर्लियर हमारे से पहले वाली जो जनरेशन है उनके हिसाब से इट इज अबोरेबल सिन क्या करा तुमने ठीक है बट अवर जनरेशन इज वेरी कॉमन दैट्स व्हाई वी डिस्कस अगर आपको याद हो यूसीसी हमने डिस्कस किया था उत्तराखंड वाला उत्तराखंड यूसीसी में आई मेड द सेम पॉइंट अबाउट लिव इन रिलेशनशिप वे आर नाउ द लॉ सेज ऑल लिव इन रिलेशनशिप मस्ट बी रजिस्टर्ड इन उत्तराखंड एंड वाई इट वॉज देयर बिकॉज ऑल द एल्डरलीज ऑफ उत्तराखंड दे प्रेशराइज द गवर्नमेंट उन्होंने बोला सरकार कानून लाए इसके ऊपर बिकॉज उनको समझ नहीं आ रहा है सब दे लाइक कर क्या रहे हो तुम लोग वी हैव अ डिफरेंट वैल्यू सेटअप दे हैव अ डिफरेंट वैल्यू सेटअप और इस समय पावर में कौन है हमारे पेरेंट्स की जनरेशन इस वक्त पावर में है पीपल हु आर इन पावर राइट नाउ आर ऑफ अवर पेरेंट्स जनरेशन हमारी जनरेशन भी पावर में नहीं हो क्लास में है ठीक है कुछ लोग थोड़े जॉब वॉब कर रहे होंगे बट नन ऑफ दैम आर इन पावर अब उन्हें आने में पावर में टाइम लगेगा 
ठीक है क्लियर है दिस मच चलो बाकी आप पढ़ लेना या देख लेना जो भी है तो इसमें जो नया लॉ लाया गया उसमें यह है कि दैट यू कैन टेक स्पम्स एंड एक्सेल ऑफ एनी पहले ये कंडीशन नहीं थी तो अच्छा काम करा सरकार ने बाय लिबलाइजिंग द लॉ बाकी ऑल द पॉइंट्स दैट आई मेड इज लिस्टेड हियर तो एक बार गो थ्रू दिस बाकी इससे ज्यादा कुछ मत करना सरोगी इसी पे बहुत है अगला इंटरनेट बैन एंड फ्रीडम ऑफ स्पीच सो देर वॉज ए न्यूज दैट कर्नाटका हाईकोर्ट हैज पास एन ऑर्डर डिसमिसिंग द अपील फ्रॉम ट्विटर ट्विटर ने एक अपील लगाई थी Twitter made an appeal to the Karnataka High Court with respect to suspension of certain accounts. Ah, uh, Mimmi, see, I have seen that movie. There's a movie, Mimmi on surrogacy. Ah, uh, so uh, internet bans and freedom of speech and expression. Ah, uh, so Karnataka High Court made Twitter, which is the X platform, uh, appeal to the Karnataka High Court because government of India ordered. Under a law, this may not mention any sir. Uh, the Ministry of Gum, in, uh, Gum, Ministry of Electronics and IT, it ordered the Twitter to suspend some accounts, which, according to government, are spreading fake news. I mean, basically news against the government. Simply see that. Now, आगे देखते हैं. The judgment में एक बात clear हो गई. Karnataka High Court, High Court rejected the petition. So petition has been rejected. Not important. Important यह है. Governance of internet shutdown in India and the various dimension. Pella, in what provision internet can be shut down in India? Pella provision is Section five two. याद रखना compulsory नहीं है. All you have to remember Indian. ये याद रखिएगा बस. Just remember under Indian Telegraph Act, temporary suspension of telecom services is allowed. In case of any public emergency or public safety, the Home Secretary. the home secretary of the union and the state can issue an order for suspension of telegraph or wire services which include internet and this ban cannot be more than 15 days in one time aap renew kar sakte hain so only the home secretary of the union and the state can pass an order banning internet under telegraph act but only for 15 days in one time you can renew the order dobara dusri baar pass kar do teen baar pass kar do to har baar renew ho raha hai wo order theek hai and as soon as you give the order it must be reviewed by a committee within 5 days so 5 days ko 5 days you can impose order without review 5 days mein review shall be there up and in case of urgent situation let's say secretary of home is not available ill or out of service in that scenario any officer of joint secretary level and above joint secretary under secretary secretaries so any person of joint secretary and above authorized by the union and the state home secretary can issue the order so these are the rules of order so who issues internet ban order home secretary under telegraph act lekin ek aur provision hai Section 144 of CRPC. अब तो CRPC में से रहा नहीं. Under Section 144, DM, SDM, or any other executive magistrate of equivalent rank can issue order including ban on internet. So now we have two provisions. Pella, under Telegraph Act, only the Home Secretary can issue order. Under Section 144, even DMs. SDMs and equivalent rank can issue orders. So we have two provision, different provisions. Clear this much? So now let's see what are the issues with this. First issue, freedom of speech. Supreme Court in Arunada Basin versus Union of India case held that internet is a major mean of information and therefore part of Article 19.1a. That is freedom of speech and expression. So internet is now a fundamental right in India after Anuradha Basin case, and internet cannot be suspended indefinitely. मतलब it can be suspended but not indefinitely. Clear? Next point. Clear reasons for such orders. Any order banning internet must have clear reasons for banning, and it must be sent to a review committee within twenty four hours. क्योंकि law में क्या कहता है within five days. Now Supreme Court says the order must be sent to review committee within 24 hours. 
so this is the law now that uh, home secretary of state and the union can issue internet ban order for at most 15 days in one time that order must be sent to review committee within 24 hours under section 144 the dms sdms and equivalent rank can ban internet for temporary purposes clear this much similarly kerala high court recent case hai kerala high court in fatima sharin versus state of kerala has clearly held that right to internet is a fundamental right under article 21 because internet has become a critical thing you can come jaise maan lete you are in a problem you can communicate with anyone through this it's a very sacred source of freedom of speech expression and life theek hai please remember that next financial losses if you look at the news which are covering farm protest to jitne hamare so called nationalist patrakar hain they all will talk about one point that this farm protest is causing inconvenience to the people there is too much losses to businesses is pe kyon nahi bolte is mein bhi the loss ho raha let's see internet shutdown has serious economic consequences also according to the top 10 vpn there is a loss of around 2000 crore only in first half of 2023 due to internet shutdowns so if farmer protest is leading to economic loss so does the government ban on farmer protest a government banning internet due to farmer protest theek hai and वैसे भी एक अच्छा सीन हुआ कल I was driving, uh, there was driving uh, आपको पता है प्रोटेस्ट के लिए नए हथियार लाए गए हैं ट्रेलर्स वो ना जिसमें कंटेनर्स तो देर वॉज अ कंटेनर देर ड्राइविंग आई टी ओ आई टी ओ पर देर वॉज अ ड्राइविंग कंटेनर देर वॉज अ पर्सन इन साइड ऑफ मी तो ऐसी आई वॉज लाइक क्या हुआ तो वॉज लाइक देखो लोकतंत्र की लाश जा रही है रिमार्क लिटरी रिमार्क दैट मेरी हंसी छूट गई एकदम से तो वट वॉज सेंग दैट लुक दॉर्स और डेमोक्रेसी इज गोइंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ अस वट इज द Why he saying so? पता नहीं कहां से पढ़ के आया था वो बट वाई सेइंग सो दिस बिकॉज द कंटेनर इज फॉर वट ऑफकोर्स टू प्रिवेंट प्रोटेस्ट टू प्रिवेंट द पीपल फ्रॉम प्रोटेस्टिंग विच इज अ वेरी एसेंस ऑफ डेमोक्रेसी एंड आई ऑलवेज से इफ यू वॉन्ट टू जज योर डेमोक्रेसी यू कैन जज बाई टू पैरामीटर्स पीसफुल ट्रांसफर ऑफ पावर वेन एवर इलेक्शन चाहे कोई हारे या जीते ट्रांसफर ऑफ पावर शेल बी पीसफुल सेकेंड टॉलरेंस टू प्रोटेस्ट Any government of any color, if they are not tolerating protest of anyone, let's say, कल कांग्रेस की सरकार आती है. If Congress do the same thing with BJP, if BJP protest against Congress government, it is as dictatorial, as authoritarian as BJP doing with Congress. So these are the two key parameters. तो उसका remark किस बात पे था? इस बात पे था. कि देखो लोकतंत्र की लाश जा रही है. ठीक है. Basically, the corpse of democracy is going in that container. Clear this much? so this is the problem internet shutdown has economic consequences also it impinge on freedom of speech and expression it impinge on right to life it impinge on economic rights ab aata hai loss of education ye to aapko pata hi hai for example during internet ban in uh, uh, kya naam hai jammu kashmir for a long time there a lot of people who were preparing for civil services and other exam they found it very hard to study everything is online nowadays they could not walk anywhere because it was strict lockdown plus ghar mein net nahi hai theek hai to With the internet, there is a loss of education as well as health. Plus, सबसे बड़ी problem यहाँ पे है perception. मैंने आपको क्या बताया राजनीति में सब कुछ क्या है perception है. For example, you are an Indian. Somebody is a Chinese. So on border, you will justify India's claim. That person will justify China's claim because he is born in China. You are born in India. But now imagine a third person, an American. he will justify nobody's claim because he is neither invested in indian sentiments nor he is invested in chinese sentiment for him there are two people fighting for unnecessary war for a territory for political reasons that is called third perspective ab you are banning internet so you have a media saying it is good you may have people saying it is bad but it is it is harming india soft power soft power means power of attraction the two kind of powers hard power and soft power hard power means power of coercion coercion means i put a gun over your head i can make you do anything that is called hard power but that power works as long as i have a gun over your head the second the gun is removed or the second you get a gun the situation will reverse soft power is power of love 
पावर ऑफ अट्रैक्शन फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू लाइक समबडी तो उसके इस मामले देखा ना यू मैनिपुलेट योर आइडेंटिटी वैसे आप ऐसे ऐसे खाते हैं फिर आप वट हैपन हेयर बिकॉज यू लाइक अ पर्सन यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू शो दैम दिंक दैट यू थिंक इज नॉट वेरी डिजायरेबल सो यू मैन्यूपलेट योर आइडेंटिटी यू मैन्यूपलेट योर बिहेवियर फॉर अ पर्सन जिसने आपके कनपट्टी पे बंदूक नहीं रखी हु इज नॉट हैविंग अ गन ओवर योर हैड बट येट यू बिहेव द वे ही और शी वॉन्ट्स because you want that person to like you that is called power of love and power of attraction known as ir mein se bolte hum soft power if i have the soft power i can make you do anything i want and you will do that willingly there are a lot of people after marriage or before marriage they, they get into relationship they manipulate their identity you start doing something you dislike but your partners like not because you like that thing but because your partner like that thing and you want to stay with that partner bar samajh mein to same thing soft power works by having internet shut down what we are losing india's power of attraction what attraction power india has liberal democracy cultural diversity a liberal democracy should talk about liberty pakistan kare to koi farak nahi padta nobody cares about it china kare to bilkul bhi farak nahi padta China has no soft power in the world. India has. India, for example, G20. Me Modi ji what said? India is the mother of democracy. Mother of democracy does not ban internet. India, according to this report, according to US based Access Now, digital right advocacy group, fifty eight percent of all recorded internet shutdown in this entire world are in India. India bans more internet than China. This is the thing. and india ranked third in the world in terms of aur hum din se aage hain wo achhe desh nahi hai afghanistan aur afghanistan jaise logo se hum aage thode se so this is the problem india is losing soft power especially in academic circles at very high pace not good thing anyway internet shutdown democracy maine aapko bata hi diya it is used to silence critics and distort information अब कुछ लोगों को लगता है इंटरनेट इज यूजफुल टू प्रिवेंट स्प्रेड ऑफ फेक न्यूज जरूरी भी है वी हैव क्रिटिसिज्म नाउ लेट्स टॉक इन फेवर ऑफ बैन विद एन एग्जांपल मणिपुर इसमें है शायद केस स्टडी देख लेना मणिपुर में व्हाट हैपन मणिपुर में देर वॉज अ पर्सन फ्रॉम मेथी कम्युनिटी टू कम्युनिटीज देर ट्राइब मेथी कुकी नागास तीन है मेथी कुकी एंड नागास कुकी नागास आर माइनोरिटी ट्राइब मेथी इज अ मेजोरिटी ट्राइब पर्टिकुलरली कुकी तो कुकी एंड मेथी में फाइट चल रहा है अब वॉज अ गाय ही अपलोडेड अ पिक्चर ऑन सोशल मीडिया वेयर देर वॉज अ गर्ल रैप्ड इन टू सम प्लास्टिक शीट बर्न अर्न गर्ल वॉज रैप्ड इन टू अ प्लास्टिक शीट ही सैड दैट दिस इज अ मेथी वुमन रेप्ड बाय कुकीज एंड बर्न अ लाइफ जबकि वो थी नी वीडियो दैट वॉज फ्रॉम राजस्थान शी वॉज ऑनर किल्ड बाय हर ओन फैमिली दैट वॉज अनर किलिंग पिक्चर पर उसने क्या बोल के वायरल करी दैट इट इज अ मेथी वुमन रेप्ड एंड बर्न अलाइव बाय कुकीज इन रिस्पांस टू दैट फेक क्लिप दैट फेक फोटोग्राफ इट गिव इवेंट वायरल इन मणिपुर पर्टिकुलरली अमंग मेथी कम्युनिटी इन दैट रिस्पांड वी सॉ दैट वीडियो द वीडियो दैट वी सॉ फ्रॉम मणिपुर वेयर टू वुमन वर परेडेड नेकेड देयर प्राइवेट पार्ट वर टच एंड देन दे वर मास रेप्ड इट वाज अ रिएक्शन रिएक्शन टू व्हाट अ फेक फोटो That is the danger of social media. Look, verify तो करते नहीं है कुछ भी आया forward forward करो माता की कृपा होगी लो forward कर दिया मैंने Without checking, we forward virtually anything on internet, and that's how the politicians use it. वो कुछ भी भंगार बेचते हैं आप verify कर नहीं पाते and you start believing whatever भंगार you get on the phone. That's how what we call a WhatsApp university graduates. अब this this incidents. signifies that why banning internet is required sometimes but still i would say with limitations zarurat hai ban internet ki but unlimited nahi hona chahiye and with due caution do not ban internet just because somebody is protesting against you ban internet manipur mein aapne ban kara koi issue nahi hai jammu kashmir mein ban kara koi issue nahi hai but banning internet every time आप एक प्रोटेस्ट कर लो तुरंत इंटरनेट बैन होता है कहीं पे भी हो किसी भी तरह का प्रोटेस्ट हो जैसे आपको पता होगा कुछ महीने पहले ऑल इंडिया एम्प्लॉयज गवर्नमेंट एम्प्लॉयज केम टू दिल्ली फॉर प्रोटेस्ट किसी को पता है इसके बारे में कवर होगा तो पता होगा आपको 
employees of PSU public sector undertakings. They came, I think, two or three months before in India. So in Delhi, me, around the country, public sector employees came to Delhi to protest against government's privatization. One media channel ne cover nahi kara. It was a big gathering. Pura, I think, Ramlila Maidan tha. It was filled with the government employees. Itne hajaro employees the Delhi me protest kar rahe hain. Kisi ko nahi pata. Kyu? Cover hi nahi kara. Ab aise me kon cover karta hai se? Social media. So social media you cannot control. But वो भी control कैसे हो गया? Internet ban. So you are protesting here. Internet ban is there. Your videos cannot go outside, and media will not show you. क्या होगा? एक महीने करोगे, दो महीने करोगे, फिर घर चले जाओगे. And that is the problem we are having. Banning internet is not wrong thing. It is required, as we see in Manipur case. But banning internet every time is disastrous. That is the point second. Internet shutdown is ineffective and counterproductive to major. हमें लगता है इट प्रिवेंट फेक न्यूज नहीं इट प्रमोट फेक न्यूज इंटरनेट बैन लगा हुआ है एनी वन कैन कम टू यू एंड से एनी थिंग बिकॉज बैन इज देयर यू हैव नो मैकेनिज्म टू वेरीफाई एनी इन्फॉर्मेशन कम से कम इंटरनेट होगा तो कुछ तो वेरीफाई कर लोगे और प्रॉब्लम पता कमाल की क्या है सब पार्टी इन्वॉल्व है किसी को क्या ब्लेम करें हर पार्टी इन्वॉल्व है कोई मोदी जी के बारे में कुछ लिख रहा है कोई राहुल गांधी के बारे में कुछ लिख रहा है एवरी पार्टी इज इन्वॉल्व एवरी पार्टी हैज आई टी सेल एंड एवरी वन इज इन्वॉल्व तो उसके लिए सोल्यूशन क्या बनता है इसका We need a proper law. We need a law on internet. Proper law, चाहिए हमें, which should have one provision of data protection. Every second, any one of us, every second you spend on internet, every like, every comment, every video you watch, you create a data point about you. Today, Google knows about you better than you do. It covers every second of your life. हर किसी का फोन का जीपीएस ऑन रहता ही होगा मुझे पता है गो टू गूगल मैप दे थ्री डॉट प्रेस दैट एंड गो टू टाइम लाइन टाइम लाइन आता है उसमें गो टू टाइम लाइन यू विल सी आपका फोन जहां जहां ट्रेवल करा है और कितनी देर ट्रेवल करा है ये सारी लिस्ट होती है गूगल ट्रेस इज एवरी सेकेंड ऑफ योर लाइफ कहाँ आप जा रहे हैं कहाँ रुक रहे हैं कितनी देर रुक रहे हैं एवरी थिंग इज ट्रेस्ड गूगल नोज विच वीडियो यू लाइक मतलब वट काइंड ऑफ पर्सन यू आर मान लेते यू लाइक द राइट विंग वीडियो उसे पता लग जाएगा यू आर राइट विंग ओरिएंटेड पर्सन आपने लेफ्ट विंग की वीडियो राइट करी सोशलिस्ट तो उसे पता लग जाएगा यू आर सोशलिस्ट पर्सन एंड देन आई नो दैट आई कैन प्रमोट एनीथिंग आई नो यू आर अ पर्सन हु आर कंसर्न अबाउट वुमेन सेफ्टी आई विल आई वांट कांग्रेस आई वांट टू डिफीट कांग्रेस तो आई विल सर्कुलेट अ वीडियो टू यू ओनली यू विल गेट अ वीडियो ऑन योर व्हाट्सएप वेयर वुमेन आर बीइंग शोन इन पैथेटिक कंडीशन इन कांग्रेस रूल चाहे होना उसे कोई मतलब नहीं तो आप किसे वोट डालोगे मुझे सेम कांग्रेस करेगी दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम दैट्स व्हाई टू डील विद दिस प्रॉब्लम वी नीड अ प्रॉपर लॉ ऑन इंटरनेट रेगुलेशन पर मैं गारंटी कर सकता हूं कोई लॉ अभी आने वाला है नहीं रीजन बींग क्योंकि सभी इन्वॉल्व है साले, सारे एक ही थाली के चट्टे बट्टे ठीक है क्लियर दिस मच चलिए फाइन बाकी आप पढ़ लेना इसमें अन चीजें लिखी हुई है पता नहीं क्या क्या लिख देता हूँ मैं ये द इंसिडेंट डेट आई टोल्ड यू इज रिटर्न हियर प्लीज गो थ्रू दिस इसको आप इस्तेमाल कर सकते हैं एज अ केस स्टडी इन एथिक्स में व्हेन यू राइटिंग एन आंसर टू जस्टिफाई इंटरनेट बैंक वहां भी कवर हो सकता है एथिकल डायमेंशन में इन एन एस इफ समथिंग कम्स ऑन डिजिटल गवर्नेंस तब आप इसे लिख सकते हैं गुड केस स्टडी है इफ यू राइट अ केस स्टडी इन योर आंसर यू विल ऑलवेज गेट वन और टू मार्क्स एक्स्ट्रा बिकॉज यू आर जस्टिफाइंग विद अ रियल लाइफ सीनेरियो आप थियोटिकल बकैती नहीं मार रहे हो कुछ रियल बोला है आपने ठीक है चलो फाइन है अब हम आते हैं द एंटी नेशनल के पास द फार्मर्स ठीक है तो नाउ वी विल डिस्कस द एंटी नेशनल प्रोटेस्ट इन इंडिया द फार्मर्स प्रोटेस्ट फॉर द पीपल यू कुड नॉट अंडरस्टैंड इट वाज अ सरकैजम ठीक है दिल्ली पुलिस डोंट टेक इट ऑन हार्ट चलो तो आई विल डिस्कस एवरी पॉइंट ऑफ फार्मर प्रोटेस्ट रीजन बीइंग इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट जीएस पेपर थ्री मेन्स द क्वेश्चन आस्ड फ्रॉम एग्रीकल्चर इज इक्वल टू ऑल द क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम एंटायर इकोनॉमिक्स You study twelve chapter of economics, or you study two chapter of agriculture. Same amount of questions. It has too much weightage in GS paper three. So agriculture, if there is any news, cover that in detail. So farm protest, me there are twelve demands. I will cover every single demand in detail, all sides. क्या होना चाहिए क्या नहीं हुआ कैसे होगा पर इस क्लास में नहीं हो पाएगा. So I have covered three demands in this class. The remaining demands I will cover in next class. but i will cover every single demand in detail let's see the first three demands 
the farmers who are protesting now they have given a 12 point charter of demand to the government first demand is bring a lawn msp second give msp according to swami nathan committee recommendation known as 1.5 of c2 ya fir c2 plus 50 formula third debt waiver of farmers and laborers and pension for farmers theek hai remaining point i will discuss in next class pehle hum teenon ko discuss karte hain chaliye hum niche aaiye and look at the context of demand context of demand mein point number 1 law on msp so how the msp is determined at the beginning of the sowing season for kharif and rabi crops the government announces msp kitni crops ke liye 23 प्लस वन शुगर है शुगर केन के लिए फेयर प्राइस नोमिनेशन है नो ऑल द ट्वेंटी क्रॉप्स इन डिटेल गूगल सम निमोनिक्स यूपीएससी पिल्लिम से बहुत बार पूछ चुका एंड फार्म लॉज इज गोइंग फार्म प्रोटेस्ट गोइंग ऑन चांसेस दैट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम फार्मिंग मे कम इन पिल्लिम गेट्स हायर चांसेस दैट इंटरव्यू में यू विल बी आज अबाउट फार्मिंग अगर अभी कोई इंटरव्यू दे रहा होगा पक्का उसे फार्मिंग में क्वेश्चन पूछेंगे पूछेंगे बिकॉज द यूपीएससी मेम्बर्स दे आस्क फ्रॉम करंट अफेयर ज्यादातर एंड मेन्स में पक्का इंपॉर्टेंट बन जाता है वैसे भी इंपॉर्टेंट है ये ठीक है प्लीज रिमेम्बर सो एम एस पी इज डिटर्माइन फॉर खरीफ एंड राबी क्रॉप देर थ्री सीजन ऑफ फार्मिंग इन इंडिया खरीफ राबी एंड जेल टू क्रॉप के लिए इट इज डिटर्माइन बाई द गवर्नमेंट ट्वेंटी थ्री क्रॉप विच आर फार्म विच फार्मर्स आर विलिंग टू सेल टू एफ सी आई एंड नाफेड दो बॉडीज हमारे पास फूड कॉपरेशन ऑफ इंडिया नाफेड सो नाफेड बेसिकली प्रोक्यूर्स कोर्स ग्रेन्स मिलेट वगैरह प्लस पल्सिस and oil seeds coarse grain pulses oil seeds kon procure karta hai nafed wheat and rice kon procure karta hai fci theek hai remember this distinction wheat rice procurement happened by fci pulses coarse grain no sorry coarse grains pulses and oil seeds are procured by nafed ab government decide msp according to the recommendation of ca CP Commission for Agriculture Cost and Prices it suggests MSP to government government approves after harvesting the FCI and NAFED purchase crop at MSP then the grain are sold to PDS outlet known as fair price shop at issue price difference between issue price and MSP is known as food subsidy so how food subsidy works in india Gov- let's say market price of potato is 10 rupees government will give you 12 rupees as msp isse fayda kya hua i will give you better price farmers i will take your produce and then i will give that produce to the state center ka role khatam the only role center plays in india's food distribution it procures food it gives msp gives msp and at msp it procures food then it gives to the state role ended now the state's role start states identify beneficiaries who shall receive this ration sarkari ration and then it takes that to the fair price shop sarkari ration shops and from there it is given to the ration card holders so there are two roles here center government role is what giving msp and procurement distribution and access to food is the is the role of स्टेट गवर्नमेंट दोनों का रोल याद रखिएगा तो द डिफरेंस यू द मार्केट प्राइस इज टेन रुपीज यू गिव ट्वेल्व रुपीज इज एम एस पी दैन एट फेयर प्राइस शॉप यू विल सेल दैट सेम पटेटो एट फाइव रुपीज तो द डिफरेंस ऑफ ट्वेल्व माइनस फाइव कितना बचा मैथ मेरी ठीक नहीं है सात बचना सर सेवन सेवन इज योर फूड सब्सिडी समझा कैसे फूड सब्सिडी काम करता है द डिफरेंस बिटवीन एम एस पी एंड द इशू प्राइस the price at which you get food in the ra- ration shops the sarkari kirana shops is known as government subsidy to food theek hai please remember that ab dekhte hai problem kya hai ye sara drama chal kyon raha hai ye isliye chal raha hai according to santa kumar committee appointed by the government of india according to santa kumar committee only 6% of the farmers are beneficiary of msp particularly in punjab and haryana isliye aap dekhiye farm protest mainly kaun kar raha hai पंजाब एंड हरियाणा कर रहा है बिकॉज दे आर द बिगेस्ट बेनिफिशियरी ऑफ एमएसपी तो सिक्स परसेंट ऑफ फार्मर्स गेट द एमएसपी 
and 50% of the food grains are siphoned off in the PDS system. So only 6% of farmers get MSP and whatever food grains I procure 50% black market. It's too high. This has been highlighted by Santa Kumar committee. It's Halaki. There is a dispute on Santa Kumar committee as well. It is said Santa Kumar committee used NSSO surveys for you know, 6% of the bogus figure lie. The gene raised wrote an article and argued that 6% of the bogus figure as Santa Kumar committee. Ka, it is based on NSSO survey, which has numerous deficiencies. So, let's say that it will not be 6. How much will it be? 10? 15? Now, it will not be 90. Always remember, trends are never wrong. Absolute quantum can be. If we say that in India, mein human development has reduced by three points. So, it can be one point se reduce or two points. But it is reduced. It will not be that the human development is increasing in India and the rank is increasing. So, it may not be six, maybe 10, maybe 15, maybe 20. But for sure, it is not 90. This is clear. Hai. Clear this much? So, no figure of man is less than 10. Plus, the private players does not pay good prices and so government has to buy wheat but at the same time fci does not have enough storage capacity so wheat get rotten two problem okay pehla ye you declare msp private player does not take on msp so you go to sarkari mandi sarkari mandi mein fci and nafed procures particularly fci wheat and rice nafed procures but pulses coarse grain and all seed wo hota hi nahi hai the only procurement in India happens in wheat and rice. So you take your produce to FCI stores, Sakari Mandi, and there FCI procures wheat and rice. And you know what you So what will happen? Wheat and rice or all seeds? Wheat and rice. This is problem. Because government declared MSP for 23 crops, 22 plus 1. But government does not procure on 23 crops. It procures only wheat and rice that to primarily from Punjab and Haryana. This is because this is the reason that farmers grow wheat and rice, wheat and rice, wheat and rice in a cycle. They do not grow vegetables. They do not grow pulses. They do not grow all seeds. That's why there is a problem of ecological disaster. MSP is not economic issue, nahi hai. ecological issue. Bhi hai. Because you are growing wheat, rice, wheat, rice, wheat, rice again, again, again. If land fertility drops, is like Punjab and Haryana mein soil is becoming arid. Punjab and Haryana ki soil is very tezi se. Kyon ho rahi hai? Because they are growing wheat, rice, wheat, rice, wheat, rice. Clear this much? So government gives MSP. Procurement does not happen for more than 10% of the people. Majority of the food that government procures goes to black marketing. And majority of the procurement happens only on wheat, rice, leaving other necessary crops at the margin that leads to ecological disaster as well. So say ek baat to samajh mein aage. MSP ek disaster hai. Ye baat to mein samajh mein aage. Phir se hata kiyo nahi dete? Hata is liye nahi sakte because 70% of your population depends on agriculture. If you want to bring reforms agriculture mein capitalist reform jo Moody government chaati di farm laws mein ek hi tarika hai. First you have to move farmers from farming to manufacturing. When they will have diversity of income, then you can bring reforms. Abhi problem kata kya hota hai? 85% of farmers in India are marginal and small farmers. Marginal small means less than 2 hectares. So they are working on their own land. They have no room for innovation. Darte hai wo. You aap ek nahi policy lai. Kya pata na chale? And I am a farmer, my whole family farming. Mein hai. I have no diversity of income. If this crop failed, I went. That is the region of farmer society. This is the problem. You are trying to reform agriculture. It's a good initiative. Hai. But you are trying to reform a sector which supports 70% of your population directly and directly. You can't do it. It's a fear. And it's not fair, bro. You have only, imagine yourself, you are, you are the only person working in your entire family in a private job. Can you leave that job? Kabhi nahi. Chai boss kitna bhi bura ho. Because you have to support your family. Paas samaj mein hai, toh only way to bring reform. MSP ki koi demand nahi karega agar you are able to shift them to manufacturing. If there is diversity of income in farming, they are less likely to ask for MSP. 
पर प्रॉब्लम ये हो नहीं पा रहा है इसके रीजन क्या क्या है प्रीवियस क्लास देखना प्रीवियस क्लास में वी हैव डिस्कस इंडिया फॉरेन ट्रेड पॉलिसी इन डिटेल उसमें मैं डिटेल में समझाया कि ये क्यों नहीं हो पा रहा है क्लियर है दिस मच तो ये सब ड्रामा चल रहा है एमएसपी फार्मर डिमांड कर रहे हैं एक कानून का विच इज इकोनॉमिकली फिजिबल नहीं है सरकार के लिए सरकार कैन नॉट गिव एम एस पी ट्वेंटी क्रॉप वो भी गारंटीड एम एस पी बाई लॉ ठीक है प्लस गवर्नमेंट वॉन्ट टू ब्रिंग रिफॉर्म इन एग्रीकल्चर जो वो ला नहीं पाएंगे until unless they remove people from agriculture to manufacturing clear so our time bhi ho gaya mujhe agri class attend karni hai so second point se reh gaya hai so why class mein it is not feasible on all the 23 crops yes it is not feasible economically not feasible government pe itna paisa nahi hai so dusre kamon ke liye bhi bahut hai ha to tabhi to paisa nahi hai dekhiye samjhiye okay, sir वी हैव अ कॉर्पस ऑफ हंड्रेड रुपीज उसमें बहुत सारे काम करने होते हैं हमें ठीक है वी हैव टू गिव टू डिफेंस फिर मोदी जी को विदेश दौरे भी करने हैं ठीक है अपोजिशन को ब्लेम भी करना है जोक्स अपार्ट देर लॉट ऑफ वर्क टू पुट मनी इन डिफेंस वी हैव टू पुट मनी इन अदर काइंड ऑफ सर्विस रोड वेज हाई वेज ठीक है प्रायोरिटी थोड़ी अलग है इफ यू रिमेंबर द बजट जो हमने डिस्कस किया था इन टाइम बजट में मैंने आपको क्या समझाया था मोदी गवर्नमेंट हैज डिवोटेड थ्री पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट ऑफ जी डी पी and the largest share in construction jabki support to agriculture support to health and education has reduced support to infrastructure has increased kyunki infrastructure kisko chahiye business ko chahiye this government is purely new liberal capitalist friendly but government bahut sare kis kis ko satisfy karenge baat hi samjhiye ye to limitations hai koi solution dhoondenge iska ek solution maine aapko bataya diya farmers will not demand msb if we will move them from farming to मैन्युफैक्चरिंग वो हो नहीं पा रहा है क्यों नहीं हो पा रहा है प्लीज सी द प्रीवियस क्लास क्योंकि डिटेल में बता नहीं पाऊंगा मैं भी ठीक है सेकंड पॉइंट से अभी 11 डिमांड बाकी है नेक्स्ट क्लास में हम सारी डिमांड को डिटेल में करेंगे मैं फिर रिपीट कर रहा हूं एग्रीकल्चर बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है कोई पॉइंट मत छोड़ना इसमें ठीक है बाय बाय